Nee, gar kein Problem. Ich, äh... Nee, äh, ich bin da. <lacht> gar kein Problem. Jo, guys, hey. So, so. Moin, moin. Come Relic, use your gold, choose a rare colorless card to obtain. But come Relic is just better. Right? How is it? Okay, or what? Hexago. Uh, late delete. Shops. Late shop. Late late shop. Before Hexagos, I, I think I do not mind the super late shop. What do you think? This shop we cannot go because elite, elite. Yeah? So, elite, elite, and then we don't have the shop to spend our fortune. Good news is fire, fire. Mm, double question mark, three monsters, elite, fire elite, question mark late, fire late, elite late, monster question mark. I mean, that's, that's a good layout. Yeah. Here we cannot go into burning elite ever. So we would need monster, monster, question mark, monster, which is the same like the right side. And then we have fire or elite, but I mean, we go to the elite. Yeah. Um, then slays like slays as uh, a question mark before okay this is equivalent now instead of fire elite we have question mark elite that's certainly worse then we have uh then we have chest monster elite instead of chest question mark fire elite I don't know. I mean, it's only about the shop, honestly. Yeah. It's only about the shop. We have some question marks. It could be a shop. Three, six, nine, twelve. No, nine, twelve. So twenty, twenty-five percent. It's not high. It's not high. 
But uh, we can also whiff the gold sometimes. I don't know. I mean, Kamarai goes on at 30. The other comes 50 more. I don't know. So it's useless if he did it on the way. You mean these two? Or you mean this? Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Yeah, I have to do stuff quick. Um, who would have put it out over there? How did the DNC in top run end? Killed by the reflex? Yeah. But if we would have not become ki being killed by the reflex, I think we would have probably lost anyways. Against the heart or something. Two games yesterday? No, we played three games yesterday. No, we played four games yesterday. No, we played four games yesterday. Eh, we played five games yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> we actually played five games. <laughs> Um, okay, I think the shop is cool and such, but does it warrant that this is a question mark instead of fire? That's super weird. Then we have elite elite. Here we even get a question mark and a fire before the next elite fight, which is huge. Um, and all of that only for one shop. Um, the question marks can also let us lose gold. If there is like a cleric, I want to pay him 75 for the remove. Uh, if it's uh, World of Goop, we can even partly lose the gold. Partly. Uh, partly not, partly we can. Uh, I would go the right path. Ah, yeah, let's do it. If, it, if there is a shop somewhere, it's also very clear. Um, so, yeah. Now let's defend, defend. Strike on the right one so that we can kill it eventually. Neutralize on the left one. And we take some chip damage. Three namely. But that is okay. Because we could have not really prevented it.
has to be the sneaky strike. Why? While outmaneuver is garbage and backflip is weird against hexagos, it's also weird against knob. Yeah. Hmm. The last one run with a fusion hammer stone and top. It looked so good before you went to bed. Um, yeah, that was a very tough. We didn't get anything. We didn't receive anything in X3. And then we had very, very tough call against the bird of evil. And yeah, it didn't work out. It was very, very close. Um, the bird of evil, yeah. We had a race for, yeah, it was very tough. Yesterday was very tough. Full stop. No, not not that game. I think Buch for Buch. The one was with the reflex was Buch for Buch refers to the game beforehand. And the game with the reflex, that was just a garbage game. We didn't have anything. Our deck was garbage. Our relics were garbage. Everything was trash. I don't even know how we did it to the end of Act 3. Um, but uh, the game before, we had uh, Super Poison, Super Catalyst, Mega Monkey. Plus one race from plus, but no block whatsoever. So we relied on this race from plus, and I think our draw order was a little bit bad, um, and that was the reason why we then died against the bird. Uh, under normal circumstances, we could have probably barely survived both at three bosses. And the funny thing is that the heart would have been actually easy for us because we could have just poisoned, poisoned, catalyst it, and then just play race form, and then survive like that. Right. Uh oh. A curse in the deck is probably at the start of the thing minus 130. Maybe regret is minus 170. And then. Is it. Does it cost 2 life per fight? Maybe 3 life? 30 life? Maybe it's worse. Two life. Two life per fight. But we want to get some discard. Two life. 2100. Maybe minus 200. I don't know. But it's also that this question mark can give us remove. There are three events which remove, so it's not unlike that we just received the remove. And that stands against 5 max HP, so I don't know. Yeah, we got multi attacks 3 times in a row that game. Yeah. Mm. yeah, I'm already see my satisfied with this. Uh, by the way, we have deviation options, but I don't think we want that. I think I would take the curse. I don't know. Max HP 5 is pretty plus 75. And now the question is what the delta between the max HP and the obtaining relic is. Obtaining relic is probably an average 200. Max HP is again like around 70. So the delta is 130. And delta 130, I mean, we can say remove is 75. I mean, but. That would be something which would make us happy if you remove for 75. So it's certainly more. I mean, it's certainly uh, around the magnitude of 100. If you receive giant heads, transform is also around the magnitude of 110. So even if you receive that, you only barely gain, gained like 20 gold. Um, with the other removes, obviously, that's a little bit better. But that's very rare. So um, in the best case, you remove for around 100 and then we gain 30 gold. But uh, the question is also how... Like whether the curse being played out is like bad and obviously the answer is very much yes so. I mean if you remove some base card for 100 and this is a curse it's like yeah I think in the magnitude of 130 is definitely something as a dead card. And then it's a dead card which also carries a negative effect. Yeah. So I'm afraid we have to take the max HP there. It's um, yeah. I don't think that we can run around with the with it first there. Yeah. 
Somebody said something about the Perry app. What, what was that story with the Perry app? You know what? Wrong order. Yeah, Reckonbear was right. If he would have clicked it, we would have gotten the parry app. It's true. Yeah, but I don't know the seat, so... But uh, here's, here's the point, yeah? I mean, if it's a parry app, we would have gotten both. We would have received both. Do you see the seat somewhere? Don't I ha have... Do I have not the seat hidden? Okay. So there's this parry app. And I'm willing to take it. Now you might say, but hey, life coach, you told me like you do never take periapt even if it's in the first chest. No, I do not take the periapt here, but maybe I want to take the periapt here. Now you might say, hey, but why? I mean, we cannot receive a curse here. No, but we have now three options for a really garbage relic, which this also is. But I'm just saying, usually you have two other relics which have to which contest this. And now we have three relics which contest this. So if you have three relics which contest this, I think we can take it. I mean, it will be at least a strawberry. But yeah, it's an it's an ine ine ineffective. It's an ineffective relic, unfortunately. Yeah, take two for sure. Oh yeah. Yeah, completely different to yesterday. Oh, oh, Whoa. Bam. Very sneaky. Not so much. Such a good sneaky strike. Wow. Ooh, nice shot on there. Bye bye. Yeah, dagger throw. It's exactly what we want. That's exactly what we need there. Yeah. Yeah, survivor. Um, 24 and back, then we can kill it with the double. I uh, with neutralized dagger throw with double strike, we can kill the back. It's very rare that we cannot kill the back. Definitely go for that. Yeah, and. Good gameplay prevails once again. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, Peer Potion is very good against Nob. It's very good against Lagavulin. It's very good. Well, for the Tony Chapter, but in three fights that we find one potion boss, I mean, not that surprising. Leg sweep is formidable against Lagavulin. Is absolutely okay against the cubes. Because if you draw it in the second iteration, you can also fully play it and fully block with it. And maybe even weaken into the future. It's not good against the lob. But, I mean, maybe even in turn 3 we can use it against the lob. The other two are unacceptable, unacceptable right? In comparison. Yeah, so... And it's also a fantastic upgrade target, but I don't know. Don't we have an upgrade target? Uh, Sneaky Strike is plus 4, Neutralize is also plus 4, um, and Leg Sweep is a better upgrade target, yeah, that's true. It's Lagavulin. Are we equipped for Lagavulin? Let's see. Do we have any way to set up against Lagavulin? Um, the answer is, unfortunately, very unfortunately, no, we do not have a way to set up against Lagavulin. Yeah, that's very bad. Okay, so we have Sneaky Strike, which can sometimes come down for free. In our case, indeed, with two discards, it comes more often down for free than for costing. Now, how is that? Well, that's okay. I mean, that's okay. It's nothing spectacular, but it's also not so 
bad. Uh, we have a vulnerable potion that will be important for sure. We will also use it. I mean, that's a no-brainer. Yeah. Then we have dagger throw, which helps us a little bit, but leg sweep slows us down. On the other hand, we can use it for blocking purposes and also for permanent weakness purposes. So that is good. So um, we also have a permanent weakness chain with leg sweep and neutralize. That should also help some. Okay. So long story short. I think this is by far the best open we, are, we can look for, right? I mean, we can open here with Survivor. Okay, Survivor is not so cool. I mean, actually the best open would be with the Dagger Throw. But I'm currently curious whether that is... You know what I'm saying, like whether that's just not a type thing. At the same time, maybe it's not true, because, I mean, first of all, exhausting the curse is better. Okay, but whatever. Then, leg sweep. I mean, if he, if he, actually we can turn two, we can neutralize leg sweep, and then we can overlay weakness, which is not so bad. And again, if you draw a text, we can open with a text. 15, 18. Well, that's even not worse. And we draw this faster. We also draw this faster. Uh, I actually like to wait. Yeah. Because we can already draw 18 here. And if you draw the entire attack, then it's also better. But if we, for whatever reason, draw the leg sweep next turn, well, we can just play the leg sweep for weakness overlay. And the curse will also exhaust at some point. So I like to pass here. I also don't want to use the vulnerable now for 12 damage, and then we cannot follow up, you know. Uh. What I'm saying is if we wait with the sneaky strike, we might be able to play the sneaky strike in vulnerable situation uh, in the follow-ups. Uh, okay. Don't you have 24 here? Yeah, but we have also at least 12, probably 18 next turn. And here we can already leg sweep as well. So that was the idea. That we can leg sweep here, overlay weakness. With a 5 card hand, it's not a 5 card hand, it's better than a 5 card hand. So here we can vulnerable for plus 4, plus 1, plus 5. 1 vulnerable for plus 5. Um, hmm? A better opener, it's not even about the better opener. We also have overlay weakness, as you can see. If I play the, if I play the neutralize now, we have permanent weakness. Weakness now, next turn. Next turn we still do not draw, need to draw it. We need to draw this in 2. Yeah. So... Possibly top deck the juicy sneaky. Yeah. Uh, but we are blocking. Okay, that's weird. So do you do you want to use the potion or not? For plus five. No, we use it from next turn. We don't use it for plus five here, right? No. Mm -hmm. That doesn't make sense. Oh now it would have made a lot of sense. Hmm. Now it's six seven. Oh my god. What, you want to do it for 7? No. No, 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 it doesn't make sense, guys. Why do you think... No, why do you think that uh, vulnerable is better than 7? The turn 4 vulnerable is better than 7, for sure. Unless I'm talking myself into this, but... I don't think so. No. Huh. Oh, what a garbage draw. We should be happy that we drew it. Yeah, I mean, otherwise we draw it with a survivor. That would actually make me happier. I'm not sure. I'm not so sure whether I'm so happy that I draw it. But I drew it, but um, because you see that leg sweep. Uh, no, actually, I'm no, 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 no. Why should we be happy? Look. Leg sweep and survivor, and we shamelessly overblock next turn. Yeah, we overblock 19. Yeah, I mean, I probably do not even play uh, survivor. What a sadness. Yeah, I probably play leg sweep and strike. Because 4 block and the damage is better. Yeah. So.
even here I'm not sure whether I block for 5 or whether I should not take the 9. I mean... Okay, that this happens now is, I think, obvious, right? Because we will receive some debuff, and after the debuff we deal less damage. Unless we go full all out, which we probably do. So it's not, it's not so easy to say, but... Um, But I think so, yeah. So, um, so, this happens, this happens, and now he's at 81. Yeah, I think we do the damage. What gonna be a tough fight? Might not be enough to win. Well, I wouldn't be so skeptical. Why? Why? I mean, no. Why do? Why would you say such a thing? Um. We are already always winning. The question is how much we lose. <laughs> and that we win, I, I think that's without any question. Yeah, that's an obvious one. Leg sweep is weakness and block. We can never not play that. Now we can deal 4 damage or 6 block. I tend to do the block. Sneak is also, I mean, not being affected by the debuff so much. Um, okay, so sneak is strike with 10, is 21, and we block next turn. Or we play strike, I don't know. But um, 21, and then we have 7, 11, 15, maybe. I mean that this happens is clear anyway, so I don't need to think too much here. Um, permanent weakness certainly helps. I mean we can we can stall out this fight a little bit. Yeah. Also, um, that this has to come down is obvious. And now we have four damage or three block, and we will draw our deck as damage. Um, with a debuff of 2 and with a debuff of 4. Now, if we receive it with a debuff of 4, we deal 2 damage, 4 damage, 6 damage, 6 damage plus 5, 11 damage. Okay. If he, So 11 is obviously not enough. Um, if we draw these as being debuffed by 2, we deal 1, 5, 9, 13, 13, 20. So that is also not enough. So we could play a strike and we could hybrid it. That is possible. After a debuff of minus 4, how we are holding up? I mean, he still only attacks for 15 every turn because we have weakness chain, obviously, with these. Um, but if he are debuffed by 4, blocking is relatively difficult, specifically blocking while applying damage at the same time. We effectively cannot do that, yeah. I mean, this blocks 7, this blocks 4. So even if we play this and this, we block for 7 and 4. That would be 11. Which we could do. Which we could do, yeah. But every time we do not do that, you know, yeah, it's, it's quite of problematic. So, these are also very formidable blocks and even they are not holding the line. Um, so, what about the sneaky strike here? Yeah, the sneaky strike even with the debuff of 4 still deals 8 damage. So, we could also try to block in for 7 plus 4, 11. And then, um, for example, the sneaky strike. One option is also the dagger throw. We play a dagger throw, let's say turn 2. And then this draws us into our stuff. Yeah. But I think here... I mean, we already prioritized the strike in vulnerable position, so we could have not maxed out the damage more. But what I'm saying is if we play the strike here, we can draw draws which actually kill him. Um, so we should probably do that. We said with the debuff of 2, we are just too weak. And we never really overkill him. So... We said in the best cases we deal. Yeah, I mean, 
I don't want to be in a position to take another 15 or what. So if we do this, we, take, we invest 3 to not take another big hit. What is the other big hit? Well, I guess an average, the other big hit is 8. And by playing this, we can actually prevent taking the 8. I think that makes a lot of sense. Uh, okay, I think now we overkill, but I mean, I could have not known that. We we literally just drew all our dam- Yeah, that is like, okay, I mean, I cannot I cannot anticipate this. Uh, I mean, it's okay. I mean, it's okay. In this- Ah, uh, I cannot anticipate this. Now, oh, no, we would have actually not enough. We would have actually taken in a, a, a lot now. I could have- Now, yeah, look, we would have definitely done this. And then, uh... We would have taken 8 because this 2 exactly minus 1 and uh, is uh, not good. Eternal Feather. We might need Noxious Fumes against the Hexagos, otherwise we are dying. I don't see it. I don't see that we can deal the Hexagos without Fumes. We can upgrade Fumes and then we can set it out. That is the one time where like I like the Fire after the Elite. If we receive the Eternal Feather, I like the Fire after Elite. Uh, whether we'll ha get our missing head, uh, will heal our missing heads nicely. Well, currently it's plus nine life. That's a pair. <laughs> but no, absolutely. Yeah, we have one here. We have one here. I'm very happy about the feather. Of course, I'm happy about sustain if you are on thirty. I'm not happy that we only found one potion fighting for monsters with having the tiny top turn all pack. Um, Dark Storm Parrot was also not good, but I put things in a little bit into perspective. I see this as a starting bonus, and as a starting bonus plus 5, uh, with the option to become better, to get better is certainly reasonable. I see this as being super garbage, but einem geschenkten Gaul schaut man nicht ins Maul. A presented horse, you do not look into the mouth, right? I mean, this came from a chest. And then we have the Eternal Feather. Now, that's very good. I mean, yes, we lost a lot of life here in that fight, like 30, but, which is also fine. 30 life in the first fight with one potion use is perfectly reasonable. And with the option to now regain health, count me in. Uh, Noxious Fumes is reasonable against the cubes, if the fight goes too long. Also to strip artifact. Noxious Fumes is not reasonable against the knob because it's too slow, but we picked two attacks. So let's hope that this keeps up against the knob. Without a potion, it's very difficult and hard to believe that it will keep up against the knob. But this is still better than a skill against the knob. We need this against the hexagos. Do we go into the shop with 169? We could. We could. I'm not a big fan of uh, skipping elites though. So if we go here, well, we can already. Um, we already heal to 38, which basically means we can to take two knobbits. No pits. Then we can go here, 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 and here. Even if we took two no pits, we will be still on ten, and then we go to twenty again. And twenty is probably enough against Lagavulin slash against cubes, given that we will be able to upgrade the noxious fumes, given that we will be able to take relic, relic card upgrade, and so on. So well, let's see against the knob in three turns, because in three we will draw our entire deck. Nine energy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9. We can play everything. How much is everything? 12, 24, 30. 36, 42, 48, 54. 54, 60. 70, 80 in turn 4. Maybe we can uh, mitigate with a leg sweep. What's up our risk of ruin with a knob? Yeah, I'm currently trying to calculate it. I think... I think cubes are no risk of ruin because noxious fumes are dealing damage over time. And I think we can... I mean with the leg sweep we can also hold our ground. I'm just wondering what I would like to... Nope, it's diff definitely difficult now. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, exactly what Airglab says. 
you can you can tell the age and health of a horse by the state of the teeth. So usually if you buy a horse, you take a look at the teeth and check what's up, whether it had like good nutrition and all of that stuff or any um, any um, diseases. And it's just like if there's a present, you do not ask that like you go, okay, for the city dwellers. If you get received like a car gifted, a friend gifts you a car, you do not ask, but hey, wait, is that car... Like, is it oh, too old? Yeah, or is it, you know what I'm saying? And like, yeah, you are not rude about the gift. You just take it. And then you can throw it away if you are not happy with it or whatever. But, uh, <laughs> okay. Mm. Let's go. Yeah, I got it. Hmm. Can we take two hits against the knob? Matsumura says we die too often, we die 50%, 60% against the knob. I don't think that we die 60% against the knob. Um, the knob hits us being weakened, if he is weakened. But let's say he will hit us for 8. Um, but yeah, he, the, the one hit is weakened. Hey, Gullivin, Gullivin, thanks so much for the sub. Um, very much appreciated. Mm, 28, 21, 21, 29 in total, right? So the next hit... It's another 20, so now we are talking 49, so that's too difficult. Um, if if you really want to be able to always do it, we can also rest. Yeah, There is a resting option. Why? Well, because for whatever reason, we have a lot of max HP. Not even kidding. Usually you rest for 19. We, because we ate the donut. It wasn't the donut. Did we eat the donut? No, it wasn't the donut. The donut is in the box, right? We ate the... What did we eat? I don't know. It doesn't matter. We gain 2 HP more for resting. Instead of like 19, we receive 21. That's a different. No, we didn't eat the banana. We ate... I don't know. Is it the banana? For max HP, I thought the banana is a heal. What is the heal then if the... Yeah, we ate the donut. And what is the chest? It's just a box. It's just open the box, right? Yeah, we ate the donut. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, we are freaking empowered. Yeah, we rest for plus 2. So, what I'm, what I'm telling you is... It's just better to rest... And go here instead of skipping this. Or not. Or not. Well, I guess the math goes like this. Against the knob we lose. Well, most likely we have weakness in one of these hit turns. So it's 18 plus 24 plus 8. 50. If you lose 50 life, do we want to do it? Also, it's minus 2 rest sides. For that, we use a relic, a card choice, a potion. Yeah, I mean, a potion also, right? I mean, the potion is also more healed. So, even if we lose 50, um, we only lose like 48 because we can potion back. Uh, but yeah, let's, let's just make it to a 50 and then to rest side, okay? To 50 and then we receive card choice, potion and gold. Okay, so Karcher's Potion Gold is around 300. So if you spend 250, let's make it this 50. Then this would be 50, this would be 80. So this would be slightly better than this. Now if this is cubes, good news, we are not losing 50. If this is, uh, if these are cubes, I mean... I think we are okay against the cubes. We sometimes can do this. We, this is ticking over time, over time, over time. 
after stripping artifact. I think this is very powerful against the cubes. We can weaken them and we can block an entire turn while the poison is ticking down. So I do not see us losing more than let's say 35 life against the cubes. And if he if he lose 35 life against the cubes, it's a very good fight. Yeah. I mean what I'm saying is before we go here, we definitely take the elite with losing 35 life against the cubes. But now the biggest argument. In average, it's not only cubes and knob, because if you go here and afterwards we go here, then you, you know what I'm saying, like the elite distribution is one third, one third, one third. Yeah. So yes, this will be knob or cubes. But then if we do this, we also, if this was knob, this cannot be knob. And Lagavulin is quite an easy fight because we have a fire here and we want to upgrade cubes. Why? Be because, um, because there's an hexagos coming up. So we definitely want to upgrade the fumes. And if he upgrade the fumes, well, if he upgrade the fumes, then uh, Lagavulin is really, really, really easy with all the weakness infliction um, and with all the block, right? Um, so I think we definitely need to go to the elite. The only question is how? How? Uh, no, we don't skip the elite. We cannot do that out of the reasons outlined. So. The only question is, do we have some meaningful upgrade, which is helping us so much against the knob that we can prevent resting? Nine life, nice. Thirty-eight. So, is there is there one upgrade which can, if you upgrade neutralize, for example, then the bow sets will be eighteen. Eighteen plus eighteen is thirty-six. Forty-six. It's just barely too much, probably. We would need to do a play a leg sweep. In turn four, we would also need to draw a turn four. If you play this is plus six, it's still not good enough. Forty-six, forty-four, forty-two, forty, maybe thirty-eight. It's very problematic. It's very problematic. I mean the upgrade against the knob will be I mean, this is not very meaningful, the Noxious Fumes upgrade. Uh, I mean, if you draw a turn 1, it's reasonable. Uh, turn 1 is really, really reasonable, yeah? Turn 1 is really reasonable, because then it's plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4. I mean, that would definitely be super helpful. Um, yeah, but... I guess otherwise not. Sneaky upgrade better than rest. Um, I don't think sneaky upgrade is something we want to do. It's only for more damage. Um, there might be a question for, of the leg sweep, for example. We can like three block for fourteen. Let's assume we have a turn where we draw the leg sweep, and now he attacks us, and uh, now we do the leg sweep. Okay, here's the thing. If we draw too many attacks, we need to play the attacks. And then we can actually not play the leg sweep as well. So even if we upgrade the leg sweep, we might not even be able to apply it. Turn 1, for example. Can we even deploy it turn 1? And partly we cannot deploy it turn 1. Yeah, yeah. Do we need more defense? No, we could. We could, because then we have a permanent weakness on the knob, but it doesn't work like that. This is 21 life. It's not. It's 2 life better than usual. I think that's very convincing. I think two life better than usual. I am convinced. Are you also convinced? <laughs> ah, the kids. Oh, whatever. Yeah. Better not. Better not ask about that. Better just be happy that it's cubes. And better be happy that we just threw the fumes. Oh, uh, the fumes are obvious. Yeah. I do not need to talk about the fumes here. Yeah? Um, twenty-five. 
Can we ever do the 25? Never, yeah? No. If we cannot deal the 25, I can as well block. Yeah, we also block more because of the fumes. Fumes! Too poisonous despite that full block. Nice. Um, oh, and we go direct into the shuffle. I like this direct into shuffle as well so much. Yeah, block, block. Weaken this block, block. Next turn. We also have weakness. We probably do not need to rest at the next rest place. No, yeah, but then I would have rather liked to have the upgrade here, of course. I mean, if I know that it's a cube, that's obvious, right? Don't need to explain that. Um, so next turn, we can deal 21. We weaken an outer cube, right? Yeah. Oh, you mean because we have weak next turn? Hmm. Yeah, but we could uh, we could weaken this. Then we can or weaken the mid because we can nearly full block exactly. Yeah, this is also what I'm thinking because this is. You see, this outer cube will be poisoned by 2 and poisoned by 3. So he's 26, right? And 26 is 18, 21 plus 1 strike. So we want to play these on the right one. Yeah. That's fine. Poison. Mega poison. Poisonous snake. Yeah, okay. This is uh, actually that's quite a set draw. <laughs> actually, that's quite a set draw. Indeed, indeed. As so that's let me draw all our damage there is a little bit, but, but yeah. Uh, you all like this. That's also okay. Uh, <laughs> we are blocking the cubes out. Nice. Um. Yeah. Sure. Block, block, let's be full block. Pa, pa, pa. Meanwhile, the poison is doing its thing. Poisonous. Okay. Um. Nah, I mean, 4 plus 5, this will die. This is a 28. So we could 15. Bring it to 13, we can never kill it. So we have to focus the middle one. If you do not mind this, this for dazes. But I think currently we do not mind this for dazes because we are already... These will die at some point. And some point is probably in the near future. So... Do we block two? I don't think so. I think we, we definitely deal the damage. We block eight. Yeah, we already said we want to accelerate the action, right? One defend. We block full again. Nice. Five and six is eleven, so we need to. Well, yeah, we need to kill this. Yeah, it's perfect. What a good idea to take this fight, guys. I mean, we are losing 15 life, no potion use. Okay, we also high rolled, but uh, I mean, just imagine we would have not taken the fight. I mean, I'm usually looking at 40 life loss, no potion use. Um, not at 15 life loss, no potion use. Yeah, it's, uh, we lost like 25 to 30 less. Media ticket, more sustain, smoke bomb. No way, no way, no way. Okay, now I'm tilting hard. 
Okay, no, this is this is just like so stupid. Also, we cannot drink it for 5 HP because we cannot drink it. No, seriously? Okay, I take the glass knife, upgrade that, and then I upgrade the fumes before the hexer goes. Glass knife is nice upgrade against Lagavulin, but much more importantly against the knob. But what I'm saying is, it's, it's uh, main killing the knob. Very clicky, very easy, very uh, nice, and probably also without taking three hits now because it's 24 damage. So that's a perfect answer against the knob. While collateral, also dealing enough damage against the Lagavulin that we do not suffer even without the potion. That being kind of in the very same function as the vulnerable potion was before against the Lagavulin. Was against the Lagavulin before. Much better, we want to utilize the life now. We want to utilize that life now. Uh, specifically with the melee ticket anyways. But generally speaking, before the hexagos, we want to utilize the li our life. And... And... Um, Graven is nice. Uh, okay, did I just talk about utilizing our life? Yeah, I said something about utilizing our life. But I didn't, I didn't know that the Spire takes it so... I mean, when I said I want to utilize our life, I mean, I meant it. But... Um, Hmm. I mean, when I said, okay, guys, this is stupid. <laughs> this, is, this is garbage, guys. This is nonsense, man. I mean... Okay, we really lost all our life. At least we got the relic. Do you know how sick that is? That no, wait, we, are, we cannot... Oh, wait. Now we can actually not... Oh, wait. Uh, oh, but I needed to go to the rest side. Hmm. Now we need to rest. Oh, but we didn't receive any help. Oh, we have smoke bomb. <laughs> um, get rested, this. No, we can smoke bomb the knob. It's five life. I mean, to put things into perspective, the turnip is doing 0, 0.0 against Lagavulin or Knob. Same Gremlin Horn. Same Meal Ticket. Same Eternal Feather. Same Dark Somperi app. Same Toyny Topter. We have a lot of relics, they are all doing nothing in the next fight. So, let's think. Let's think. Feather already healed us. No, 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 that's true, that's true. The feather is healing us. I mean, like, the feather is good. I mean, what I'm saying is, in the next fight, 17 life. It doesn't do, like, you know. Okay, so what's the issue here? I feel it fantastic that we have one, two, three sustain relics, and we still need, and arguably the, the donut was also sustain. But what I'm saying is we only found sustain relics. Tiny Topter, Eternal Feather, and Meal Ticket. And do you know what fascinates me? That we need to rest all the time anyways. That fascinates me. That despite, that despite uh, having only sustained relics, we are always clicking this button anyways. Uh, funny. Okay. Mm. If you don't upgrade glass knife, it sucks. The knife. Yeah, the glass knife is plus 8 damage against the knob. And you could argue that we should take the 8 damage against the knob so that we can kill him in 3. I would counter ask whether we kill him in 3. If we take the upgrade, we draw our entire deck in 3 because we have dagger throw. And if we upgrade the glass knife for 24, how much damage is it? 33, 36. 36, 48, 54, 60, 72, 78. For 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 energy. So we can deal up to 78. Um, excluding fumes, exactly. 
if we if we play the fumes turn one, it doesn't matter because it also only deals five. No, no, we don't need. Uh, no, we cannot. We can never. Even if we even if we drop perfect, we cannot. If you upgrade the glass knife, so the only way how to be victorious over the knob would be. Um, okay, I mean, one question would be whether we can, for example, turn three leg sweep and survive. So let's just play it through in our head. If we if we go to nine, for example, and then we use the leg sweep, um, the knob will have base nineteen. So I uh, 28 minus weakness 21 minus 11 10 so we still die So we can still not do it Even if you play the leg sweep it's still not enough even if you play the leg sweep in the right turn It's still not enough because we take too much damage Okay, can we talk about Lagavulin first? Yeah, Ribanya asked exactly this. Does it mean that we should upgrade the fumes for the Lagavulin and smoke the knob? I don't know. I mean, the glass knife is how much against Lagavulin? It's plus 8. And the noxious fumes? Well, we play it. Next turn, we open plus 1. Then plus two, then plus three is already plus six. At that time, we usually would have played one knife. Then it's plus ten, plus fifteen. That's the last turn. Plus fifteen, and the glass knife by then would have also dealt plus sixteen. What about resting against knob? Again, keep in mind resting gives plus twenty-one, which is huge. Plus 21 means most likely that we can I mean first of all it means that we are good against Lagavulin yeah I mean that's a certainty because if you have 38 life and we set up the fumes yeah I mean Okay, what uh, okay let's let's ask whether we can kill I'm I really don't want to um, what Samura is scared being this weak versus hexa ghost yeah that's the reason why we picked the freaking fumes and we will upgrade them and then we have plus 60 against the freaking hexa ghost and we have also weakness and block and we just try to damage him whenever we can of course we are weak against the hexa ghost but uh, keep also in mind we have a very high potion drop by the way oh and we also will find here yeah i mean we have a very high potion drop we will go into hexa ghost fight with a lot of extra life and with also potions i wouldn't be too afraid about the hexa ghost here i mean i would be but not too much i would be if we do not find any potions then i would be definitely afraid of the hexa ghost okay um We have 2 HP after not if we draw well and rest. Uh, you mean 38? Why do you say 2 HP? I mean... No, what? And even if it would be 2 HP, but it's not 2 HP. But even if, alright, um, we could still have the smoke bomb. So... Yeah, yeah, the smoke bomb is not, I mean, I would have liked to see any other potion, but we can make, we can use value from the smoke bomb by basically saying, hey, we risk things we would otherwise not risk. Uh, we can take risk of ruin without ruining our run. Yeah, that is true. Um, again, if you rest against the Lagavulin, I think that's absolutely viable because... I mean, the fumes will be against the Lagavulin until turn 5, plus fi like plus 15. But I don't even think we need the plus 15 so badly. 
because if we just full focus on blocking every every time, we will, and you also witnessed that in the last fight, have permanent weakness. And if we just emphasize always our block, we will probably be able to only take five damage in the first two attacks, and then probably another 10 to 15 in the next two, um, even with the non-upgraded fumes, right? So taking 20 in total, but if you just think about what fumes deal, I mean, they'll deal even non-upgraded. They deal two plus three plus four plus five plus six plus seven and so on. So that will be sufficient. That will be probably sufficient with the turns in between uh, because the poison ticks are very heavy anyways. Um, so if you can beat the knob by upgrading, by uh, resting, I would very, very much like to do that. Uh, and yeah. I get myself some coffee. Yeah, okay. So, um, it might be smart to do that for the 5 HP. You mean the smoke bombs? Huh? 
50% chance for plus 5 life. Oh yeah. yeah. We get the relic if you rest. Oh, do we? I was not so sure about that because we also lose 8 damage if you do not take the upgrade. So we have one more turn against the knob, but we also dealt 8 less damage. And you, we have um, how many inactive cards? 1, 2, 3, uh, this is semi-active because we can play it, right? If the knob hits us again, we can leg sweep blocking 11 against attack. Now if you already played weakness or leg sweep or skill, but uh, otherwise... Um, yeah, it's problematic. We cannot we cannot take the next hit. Even let's say we take um, six plus twenty four, right? Then it's thirty. Then we are at eight, and Lex Sweep does not block that. If he bl if he weakened the big turn, then it's okay because then it's eighteen plus eighteen plus eight twenty six. We are still at um, twelve, and then Lex Sweep would be uh, an active card. Um, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six cards which are inactive. Six. Um, something like a, a survivor and neutralize is also enough. So six inactive cards. How many are active? Mm. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. So basically, uh, three active cards we will draw, and three active cards are expected to deal. Yeah, whatever. Eighteen, if it's only strikes. Sometimes this, but uh, sometimes this is less. Sometimes this is more. This is twelve. This is uh, a little bit more. So these three active cards on average are probably twenty plus the poison tick. So probably whatever, twenty-three more or something. So by losing by losing the eight, we probably can gain twenty-three or seventeen. So plus nine, plus nine or plus fifteen. And that's exactly the threshold. We said 78, right? So plus 9 would be 87, plus 15 would be 92. So, Oh yeah, and then we also, it's also about the distribution. Um, the distribution of the cards, like we are currently in the first iteration, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 energy, but if this is cheaper, it's, if it's not cheaper, it's always 10. If it's cheaper, if it's cheaper, Yeah, if it's cheaper, we should always get there. I mean, if it's a, a dagger throw and then sneaky strikers for free. I mean, the first time we draw 40% of our deck, right? And if you say this would be zero, for example, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, forty percent. Yeah, partly we are also overdrawing. Then we cannot play one strike or something like this. So even if you rest, we are not guaranteed to beat the knob, unfortunately, without a potion. No. No. So about 23 is ideal HP. No, yeah. Or 11, 11, also between 11 and 23, yeah. Below is weird because you might die, but, but uh, yeah, it's, um, but above 23 also quite a hit big, yeah. Um, the problem is also that resting kind of is weird if we need to escape the knob then, then it's super bad. It's also kind of interesting because we can invest a lot of life here. Because if we invest a lot of life here and we go here and we nearly are dead, this is not taking away life. Why? Because we already faced the event which are taking away life. Um, okay, Simmering Light could be our sensory stone, but that's a little amount of events. The, pro the thing is we heal here and probably our deck will be 20 cards by then. No? Not necessarily. But we heal 9 life maybe. Maybe 12. So let's say we are already at uh, low life, four life or something, five, six, whatever. Whatever happens, we always receive the heal. So what we do not want to see is we heal to 38, we face Lagavulin. Um, we only lose 
15 life, we are 23, we, fit, uh, we find another card, we do not lose life here, we go here, we heal to 35, and we effectively have too much. Um, yeah. There's a thing about the smoke bomb that against the knob we can actually smoke bomb. Yeah. Talking about the upgrade, I don't know whether fumes is the correct upgrade, by the way. Why? We will always assure that we upgrade uh, uh, fumes here at this fire. Why are we so certain? Well, we, why can we be so certain? Yeah, because of the eternal feather. And the eternal feather heals us full here. Okay, I know not full, but it's sufficient. So we can always upgrade the fumes. How many question marks? 3, 6, 9, 12% for a shop. If this is a shop, we also receive a man, man monster heal. So resting here and then fighting like a bullion is probably pretty sad. Is it like mega set? Hmm, it depends on how much we assume the Lagavulin would take from us. Whether 17 life is sufficient in the Lagavulin fight or not. Um, because, I mean, it could also be that 17 is not good enough for the Lagavulin fight. The other thing is about the fumes. Are you think, do you think the fumes is a better upgrade or do you think the glass knife is a better upgrade against Lagavulin? I wouldn't be so sure because you draw the glass knife every three turns. So. The, again, like the function is plus one, like fumes. Plus one, plus two, plus three. Glass knife is still more. Plus four, plus five, plus six. So now we have um, 15, 18, 20, 21, and two times eight is 16. It's still very equivalent to the fumes. And does the fight really prolong way longer than that? Proxy Wave wants the fumes more. If it's only against Lagavulin, it's a fumes more. Huh. Huh. The knife is a better upgrade for the Lagavulin fight. Oh, really? I don't know. One, two, three, four, five. So it's already plus 15 damage. It's already as good as the glass knife. No, the fume should be better against the Lagavulin for sure. Hmm, only 47 minutes to go for what? Um, eight extra damage per deck cycle. If you read it, is it as good as Noxious Human Long Fights? No. Absolutely not. I don't know where this comes from. But I'm also a little bit worried that we can actually really effectively block in against the Lagavulin. We cannot, we cannot set up the fumes when we want. We have to set up the fumes. It's determined by them. By the Lagavulin, I mean. Okay, so here's the thing. If he, if he always beat the Lagavulin by upgrading, I would like to upgrade. And I would like to smoke bomb the knob. Um, if that statement is true. If he do not always beat the Lagavulin with upgrade, I would definitely like to rest so that we can also assure that we beat the Lagavulin. And then I would, uh, if he face the knob, I would take a look whether Sneaky Strike is being played for free. If that is for free, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 energy. And Sneaky Strike being free is... Well, I mean, we need to draw the Sneaky Strike for free. We also need to draw the other draws re in a reasonable order. But in a reasonable order we, will see, order, we will see in the starting hand. We will see in the starting hand whether we drew too many attacks. And if that statement is true... Yeah. What resting into using smoke bombs out's really bad. Yeah, okay.
So, okay. So, it's about the Lagavulin then. So, do we beat the Lagavulin if we upgrade, for example, the fumes or not? Yeah, the glass knife discussion is in short fights. If the Lagavulin is a short fight, we can actually do the glass knife. But I do not really see the Lagavulin to be a short fight. Okay, so it was about our block density. I see this disappears, this disappears. So we will have 16 cards. So we draw a deck in three turns. So in three turns, we have blocking capacity of 20, 25, 25, uh, no, sorry, yeah, 30, 25, 36, 36, 44. So we block 44 in three. So we block 15 per turn. So if we draw a perfect block, and we, we might be able to manipulate it one way or the other, but not really. So only if we draw a perfect block, we do not take damage. Otherwise, we take chip damage, five or 10. Mm. And this is assumed that we have permanent weakness, but I just assume that now because, well, because we have three weakness in three draws. I don't know. I mean, we cannot even assure that we have permanent weakness. So it's it's not unlikely that we take five to ten damage in the first circulation. It's not unlikely. Not 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 whatsoever. And uh, then we have an average ten life left, and he hits us for fifteen. Maybe he hits us for 20, but let's say he hits us for 15. And we have 10 life less left. So we could block. We could block. But there are also draws which does do not block. Now, what would you say about the fumes if you set them up? Well, you know, part if you set them up turn 3, that would be really sad. If you set them up turn 3, it basically means poison picks are 3, 4, 5, Six until he takes us again. But then again, keep in mind that the glass knife. Hmm. Why are we so struggling? What is this for nonsense? Be just because the relics are so inactive or what? No, because she just took a lot of damage from the freaking ooze, yeah. I just took too much damage against the ooze, right? Like way too much damage. Huh. Should have I not taken a look into the use or what? Huh. I I think it was correct to use the use because we have smoke bomb. So against the knob, I don't even know, you know. Like if we have the perspective against the knob that we always take the 30. And well that is currently the perspective. We always take the 30. So if no 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 no. Like I I okay, I do not even want to fight the knob. If you always lay, take the 30. And we can use the smoke bomb for five. It basically means a delta of 35 life against an op. At least, you know, at least. So that means. That means plus 100 max. And. No, it doesn't make sense because we also receive a relic. Of course, we receive a relic and that relic can be helpful. Of course, we use the ooze. Yeah, because the idea is, hey, we use the ooze and and we receive extra uh, extra strengths yeah, from the ooze. And usually, yeah, in average, of course, we use the ooze there. Yeah. No, that was nonsense. That. Uh, uh, We have an insane amount of sustain this run. Yeah, true. But our deck currently is not even strong enough to take the late elite, which is super sad. Usually late elites should be beneficial. Yeah. But yeah, I, I mean, this is also arguable against multi multiple enemies. Yeah, so. So the best would be we face Lagavulin and we do not die. Then we go here, we go here, we go here, maybe even go here. Maybe, maybe we go here, yeah. Ah, maybe not, the curse, uh, we will decide. Um, and then we go here, and here we heal back up again. 
and that would be good if we actually have upgrades. And against Lagavulin, we are not too weak or something. And what about the glass knife? I mean, if you play the glass knife is plus 16, and the fumes are catching up when? When are the fumes even catching up? Um, now, do we even draw the glass knife often enough? One, two, three, four, five, six. But we do not open with the glass knife. We need to wait. So, do we really play eight rounds against Lagavulin? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, we don't even. We probably don't even assure that we draw the glass knife two times. And we also open with fumes. Yeah. So the poison should catch up on five. The problem is, I do not see that we guaranteed survive both attacks against the Lagavulin. Like all four, I mean. The first two, certainly. But afterwards? What I'm saying is by turn 5, we cannot even assure to kill. It's 15 by turn 5. 31, 40, 50. No, we need a, we need a poison to tick also through turn two, 6, 7, 8. So we need to block two times. Pull. Hmm. Ask the cleaning lady. Yeah, I asked the cleaning lady. That's a good idea. Okay. Um. Hey, why did this stupid garbage not drop us any potions? I mean, not the smoke. Oh, like a potion we can use. You know, this this tiny top there has been surprisingly useless. Uh, oh. Such a pain. Okay, the fumes is basically nearly as good as upgrading against, uh, as resting against the Lagavulin, right? Because standard is one tick, two tick, no. One tick, two ticks, three ticks, four ticks, five ticks. So it's basically nearly as good, yeah. Mm -hmm. We can even deal 20 with the poison. No, it's even more. It's like 20 more. So actually it takes us three. Like the base ticks. Like we said, the 20 is extra, but the base ticks are 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that's like another 25. Um, another 20, I mean. Uh, until turn 5, but until turn 6 is another 25. So it's like 45 plus open 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Um... And if you don't draw block, we also draw damage. That makes a lot of sense. Fine. Hmm. Okay. I hope we made the right decision because we need to draw the noxious fumes next turn in order that it counts, you know. Hmm. Okay. Okay, now that is good. I mean, we could wake him up, but that's nonsense. We lose one poison tick, which is just like, huge. We can leg sweep next turn also for utility. Sneaky strike, strike is also more damage. Again, like if you take more damage in these turns, we also deal more damage. Yeah. So. So if we don't draw block next turn, we can at least draw the damage. Yeah, it's, it's one or the other. Um, like here, whenever we don't draw block, it's damage. Like here as well.
Nice. Gotta bail now. No. What do you mean bailing now? Is it 12 or what? This is so freaking frustrating. I ich mag nicht mehr. Ich, nein, das ist so dumm. Did we not talk about that fight? We even drew. I mean, was? Nee, hey, wirklich. Ich habe echt irgendwie. Das ist einfach bescheuert. Ja, wirklich. Ich meine, so. Ja, I don't know. This is so freaking sad. Oh. Hey, okay. Mm. And did we not already knew that before the draw? Did we not already no 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 like I took the damage for free I mean No, I mean we knew that people, hey. Ah! Was ist denn das, hey? This is so bad, man. Komm schon, please. I mean, we knew that before, we, didn't we know that on turn three? Yeah, it's is super funny, yeah? I mean, didn't we know that on turn three already? Yeah? Didn't we know that on turn three already? I mean, I'm not, I mean, that's, I know, Siri. I mean, hey. I don't... Uh, so dumb. Hey, I don't know. Hey, this is so dumb, hey. This is so freaking dumb. I, I mean... If we cannot calculate this, we don't need to play. Seriously. I mean, this is... Uh, also, I take a look. So I blocked for 8 and I took 7 and we know exactly our draw. So I took 7 for no reason. On turn 3, I took 7 for no reason. But I thought we, I mean...
Maybe there was an argument for opening on turn two. Yeah, yeah, it's. Uh, uh, but I think having all the poison ticks was. I mean, eleven. Like the idea is, if you have all the poison ticks, you also have the option to sometimes maybe kill. You know, so. Um, but here we need to full block. D takes three. Eleven plus thirteen is twenty-four, so he goes to twenty-seven. And the idea was, hey, maybe. Maybe we can do that. Then. Yeah. Hmm? We drew four strikes and survivor turn four. Yeah, and our deck had five cards. And we, if, if, if you already know we can never do it, I do not need to take the seven damage turn three. Yeah. We don't need to do, uh, take the uh, seven damage turn three. Um. Hmm? With sneaky strike now being free and the next one being full damage? Yeah, it's true. You mean it's 27, right? If you take this 27 and let's say sneaky strike is free, it's 17. Yeah. So we need to effectively deal 17 damage and we can deal 17 damage under certain circumstances. 17 damage, this is for example 8. 8, 12, 16, 17. Huh. I mean, it's a long shot. Like, a long shot. But you're right, yeah. If we discount. Oh, no, no. And we have daggers for right? So if you, for example, block in one turn here, and then. And we can also block in different ways, right? We can also block, like, say, Lex 3 blocks 9. 9, 12 is also blocking, or 9, 15. And then if you, for example, then draw the dagger throw. We have 7, 17, uh, 17 minus 24, um, 41, we need 10 damage more. Um, also 17, no, also, also 24, 27, 20, sneaky strike 10. But we still would need to draw, okay, no, no. Yeah, it's difficult. I mean, there are some run, but you are saying the life doesn't matter because if you smoke one, we'll go to ten life anyways. And if you go to ten life, we go here. And then if you, we are never losing the ten life here, and because we have gremlin horn and all that stuff, and um, and then we probably go whatever, and then we go here and we usually heal enough that this is reasonable, um, and or have a potion which heals us more. So this investment was okay. For the risk of maybe yeah maybe but uh, maybe but um, no no maybe maybe that's okay it was a long shot but maybe yeah, yeah it was probably around 10% um, chance and that's probably worse the HP because we don't need the HP okay so but if you throw the block too little, here you mean. No, here it's over. Here we cannot throw any longer. Yeah. Um, that is. It does make the next hallway fight like a little bit riskier. Yeah, yeah, but that's about it. So I think that's, uh, that was okay. Um, I'm a little bit angry about that we did not rest if we are now do dying against the Lagabudin. I mean, there is one argument where we say. Resting. I mean, I'm just a little bit angry because, as you can see, 11, 13. Like, we block, we block. 11, 13, 24. Another 15. It's already 39 going to 12. I mean, this is just so sad. I mean, it's 15 to 12, 17 die, yeah? So even if you don't draw any damage at the turn between... But it's also true that if we would have drawn different and in the turn, instead of leg sweeping for two energy, we could have actually dealt damage for two energy. Well, then we could have now fully blocked and then going for a full kill because we played the poison earlier. So I think that was okay, but yeah. No. What the other options only relic, no upgrade. 
Okay, we can maybe make an argument that the gold is not that relevant. Okay, this argument I can buy. Uh, but there is a potion find. And the potion find is 50%. And the potion is more important for us. So, the potion probably alone is 40, 50 gold plus the gold. But yeah, and the card choice can be a rare. The rare choice is much higher. So, we are... I mean, this is important that we receive the freaking rare card. The rare chance, I mean, we will we, we find a rare card maybe. I mean, it's at least one. I mean, this is horrible. I mean, I will even for the rare card, I will be even do this because of the rare card, right? Plus 100 and the relic plus 300. And for that, we received what? A rest, uh, an upgrade now for 300. Uh. <sighs> In 16, this is 3 plus 5 plus 7. We don't record again. Yeah, we either drop block or we drop damage. That potion is good against the Hexagost. No rare card again. We need to go to the other. We don't have a rare card, we need to go to the other two. No, it's, it's okay, it's just... Backstrip is always good, you say. I'm always very careful with things like always and such, but yeah. You're saying backstrip is fine, yeah. Skewer might be good with the horn, I don't think so. You mean backstrip is also better with noxious fumes? Skewer is also better... Uh, backstrip is also better because of noxious fumes. Uh, backstrip is also better against Hexagos, yeah? Be it three more if you take two more cards. Yeah, I wouldn't, uh, but you're right, like every card we add will be probably, I mean, if you take 5 rest plays on average, taking this card is also plus 20. So, taking this card is slightly incentivized by the feather as well. The same goes with taking curses. We are more incentivized to take curses if you want a bigger deck. Um, the same about block density. Yeah, block density, same. I do not mind that anyways. Yeah, I, I want to go for the rare card. Um, that is not close, right? Mm, I don't think it is. We have a very we have relative high potion drop chance. 40 or 50, which is very good for this. This is very, very good for hallways. We did not see knifers from an elite, elite. Yeah, I think here. Right? Oh, what you're saying is... Yeah, okay. Okay. And this is sufficient, right? The Bros is very good against Hexagos. The Bros is... Uh, uh, the Bros alone is like... This is insane. This is 50 damage against Hexagos. This is completely amazing against... This is 50 damage.
Okay, so we take this, yeah? Because we need this for the hexagons, that's your argument. And if this is a shop, we do not mind because we have enough gold for the shop. If this is golden idol, we could even take the curse if this is golden idol. Yeah? If, um, if this is some other event which gives us a curse, it's also much better because of Darkson Parade. No, I can see the event. Oh, shop is perfect because we also have the meal ticket. And sometimes it's only an illusion of choice. I see. Um, if I kill this now, right away, it will hit us for 16. Which is not in our interest. The problem is... I actually we kill this because we also received Gremlin Horn. Why would you not kill this? I mean, they both attack us next turn anyways. It's not. It's nothing we can prevent. Yeah. Oh yeah, the defend. At least we can now kill this Fungi Beast sometimes. Yeah, depending on what we draw. Yeah. Survivors, amazing. We can kill now. No, 18. We cannot kill. Yeah, but there was also nothing else. So. 18. I mean, we cannot kill, we cannot leave them alive both, after all, no? So... I mean, if you take 3 here, we go to 19, it's not even bad, you know, it's not even bad. Yeah, what I'm saying, yeah? Rare card, bam. Yeah, yeah, it's the unload. I see that too. <laughs> Strike them, not fumes? Yeah, it doesn't matter. There was... Yeah, I unload I take anyways, right? Also gaining the 6 max HP from the parry -apt, So that's pretty cool. Bane? No. No, 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 that's so bad, please. I can then, I can then unload. It's also good with the burns. Yeah, it's also good with the burns. No. Yeah. And also good for the bonfire spirits. No? Why, why, why do you think this is so bad? Uh, it's as good as this. Okay, we upgrade this now. Uh, it's as good as this. It's as good as these. It's way, worse, uh, way better than these. It discards burns, which is nice. Bonfire spirits is very nice. It's also about these, yeah? It's better than these. It's not better than this, but... And discard king, you say? Discard for what? Yeah! Discard King! Discard King! Yeah, absolutely Discard King! Are you kidding me? No, it's yellow, it's not a curse, it's like 14 damage is better than 12 in average baseline. It discard via Discard King, this unload Sneaky Strike, we, we, we showcased it yesterday. Works formidable. Uh, and Discard Burns, what do you want more? What do you want more from this? BOOM! And 12 life! What about the 12 life there? Yeah, man. Boom, 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 boom. Double upgrade on the glass knife. Oh, oh no, no, no. Oh nein. Oh nein. Hey, ich weiß auch nicht, was zur Zeit los ist. Ich weiß auch nicht, was zur Zeit los ist. I'm. I don't know. Yeah. Ich weiß auch nicht, was zur Zeit los ist. Nein. Naja. Leg sweep, no, no. No, I didn't even want to take it. It was. Ich hab keinen Bock mehr. Ich will. Hey. Ja, man, was ist das? Nein, man. Ich meine, wie kann man nur so kerl? Was ist denn das? Ich mein. Hey, ich weiß es nicht mehr. Nee, I don't know. I don't know. So bad. Hmm. 
Nah, it's very hard not to tilt here. Situation. I'm super annoyed. I, I cannot think. I mean, 5 for 18 now, or what? 5 for 18? That was 5 for 18. Um, I played 5 for 18. Uh, I don't know. Nah. Hmm. I don't know. Why not sweep last turn? What do you mean sweep? I don't know. What do you mean sweep? Ah. I'm I don't know. It's uh I don't We have some weakness. Uh I don't know. Do we need more coffee now? I don't know. It does I don't know what I'm thinking. It's... I don't know. Um... Hmm. I don't know what I'm thinking. Hmm. Ah. And we cannot even do this because the burn burns us now. Oh, I could have played back to the air. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, whatever. Hmm. It was never enough, you say? Because the fumes were too slow, or what? What? You do not know where there is a world you win this? Hmm. How many hours did I play in this run? Did I even think? Hmm. <sighs> that was extremely painful. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe... I don't know. Um you rest instead of upgrade. No no. Um
I want to play this run. There is a Tony Topter. There is a Darkstone Periap. No, but Feather is nice. Gremlin Horn is nice. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I didn't, don't even want to play that run. Uh, this is correct. I do not play hindsight, yeah? I mean, we play this. We do not play strikes. We always play this. I know in this case we drew leg sweep, but um, we, we do not make this a hindsight play here. Yeah? I mean, correct. I'm hey, I'm kotzen. I'm kotzen mega up. I'm kotzen ultra up. Like, it's been so... Also, okay. So what? Okay, leg sweep saves us 8 life. And 8 life goes against dealing 22. So... The thing is, we could probably even survive the big hit, because why not? Yeah, the big hit is uh, uh, 24, and we have thorns. Actually, we should uh, we should probably play longevity. Yeah, we should probably play longevity. And um, like this. Yeah, this here also is better, yeah. I know this is not longevity, but we... Yeah. Maybe I should have gone... Uh, maybe, maybe this is also... I don't know. Nein, ich weiß nicht. Das ist halt... Das ist halt so... I mean, we can... Ja, yeah, dann... <laughs> Ey, ich habe keinen Bock mehr nach dem Spiel. Ich weiß nicht. Ich, äh... Uh I'm just like, hey, if this is if this is the game, I don't play it, honestly. Like, if, I, I, I mean, I mean, this is, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, it's uh, it's not about the game, but if like, if I do not, I don't. I mean, what what should I play? Weißt du? I don't. Yeah, uh, I so. Yeah, also with the weak, yeah. Yeah, it's just gamba gamba. I don't know. Everything is gamba. Everything is gamba gamba. Yeah. Um, so about these 24, yeah. Who says that we cannot survive 24? I mean, with this draw, we can probably not. But generally speaking, I mean, um, what is it even? So. I guess the question was, it's a question about surviving the 24, because, hmm, it was close but not winnable, it depends on whether you think we want to go for surviving the big turn, I played it in a way that I don't want to survive the big turn, you can, you have to decide at the beginning, at the beginning you have to decide do you want to survive the big turn or don't you want to survive the big turn, and if you say you want to survive the big turn, um, with hindsight play turn one, no, 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 not with hindsight play. I mean, you you want to decide early. You want to decide early whether whether you yeah yeah with the five HP for example we survive this turn yeah. Um, we invested that for sneaky strike and strike though, so we invested it for eighteen damage, but obviously we gain the eighteen damage back from the poison next turn, yeah. We gain the 18 back from the poison next turn, but the burns will also be upgraded. Now, this also takes 18 now. So, what is my point? My point is... Um... Have a look. I mean, this, this, we do not need to take the look at the attack. I need to take a look from the bit get-go. And um, it's we have thorns and we have poison. So the poison we know will be around 15 damage per turn. And we have thorns. And we know thorns. Okay, we know that the attack will probably be an average 4 or 5 damage per, per, per attack. And every 4 or 5 damage we reflect, we reflect 3 damage back. So we already know that. And that is an immediate effect. So if you, for example, deal 18 instead of preventing 5, we already need to automatically deduct 3 because from the thorns it takes in the attack turn. So it's actually only 15 damage for 5. Now 15 damage for 5 is, I would usually say 10 for 5 is reasonable, but every turn will be survived. 
So how much do we take per turn? Five. And every turn where we survive the five, maybe take a little bit more than five. I don't know. But something around this magnitude after the big turn. Um, we deal also 15 damage poison. So maybe we should have just prioritized that. I, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, if we prioritize that, it would look like this. Yeah, we would uh, do this, this. Of course, now we know what how it played out, but I'm just saying. Uh, it's, um, it's like everything is so sad. I mean, if I take a look what's happening here, I mean, that's like the super sad everything. So I guess, yes, we could probably manipulate it in that way. That the Noxious Shume came so late is also bad. But it's not about that. I mean, I just don't have the... I don't know. Like, why am I rushing? Why am I rushing so much? There's, there's no reason to rush, you know. Like, not at all. You know? Hmm. Yeah, the last four games we had were all very unsatisfying. Yeah, very, very unsatisfying. I mean, we lost all, but... Um, Yeah, so this would be playing it slow and, well, yeah, wrong order, but whatever. So I guess if you play it this way, we, we survive. I mean, we win, but that's also, well, you know, yeah, not very, I don't know. It's, I don't know whether... If I think about it, I do not play it this way, you know. I don't know. It's... I mean, if you think about it... No, I don't know. I don't know. What tastes like Jesus asked, do we still play this run? I'm not kidding it personally. Uh, yeah, um, I don't know, like, what, what are we feeling? I mean, um, oh, my coffee might be okay. Yeah, it ought to be about time that the Barbaras open again. Um, yeah, but I'm also not feeling it personally after losing, like, four games in a row, yeah. Um, to, 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 I mean, I don't know, due to the garbage, honestly, I don't know, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, normal variants, but, uh, yeah, what is the tools of the trade, I don't, I don't know, I don't even know what I would pick here, probably tools, and, um, coffee to buy, that would be good, that would be a good run, probably. Demoralized, do you feel like we could have won this run if I played 100%? Um, I believe that the Noxious Fumes upgrade was justifiable. I'm not sure whether taking the 7 against Lagavulin was justifiable. I think taking the 7 against the Lagavulin to have a 10% chance to maybe kill him is probably not to be justified. Um, it's close, but it's probably... I mean, it's probably break even. I don't know. It might be just... I mean, it's really only 10% max or something. So... I find it quite difficult to justify that. Um, 
it's close. Using the potion against Hexagos is the icing on the cake after a very exhausting run. Um, and from that point on, we I think it's still correct to use a backflip over the strike. We had this very same situation before. And we are, um, we've, yeah, I mean, it's obvious. We don't need to deploy the poison. We, need, we don't want to play the strike there. Yeah. So we want to skim through the deck and we want to find something like a poison deploy. Stuff like this. We do not want to invest energy into strikes there. So, um, because if you find a poison earlier, it's like plus 20 damage, you know. So, better try to, better try to find that. And two cards, this one and six for plus 20 damage. Um... That already justifies that nearly stand alone. Yeah. Um, the um, we had one decision to leg sweep with two weakness or to deal the damage. Now, I decided for Glasnav Strike, and the reason for uh, Glasnav Strike represented, um, I mean, at this point, it represented 30, but you should not count the 30, right? Because Glasnav also loses damage. So, but I, I assume that we draw Glasnav one more time, so I assumed uh, 26 damage or 8 block, and 8 life or 26. And usually against the Hexagos, I think something in the uh, magnitude of... 2 to 1 is an okay trade. What I'm saying is you sometimes deal 10 damage instead of... Against Hexagos, you usually deal 160, 70 damage from, like, from the house. So you need to deal 100 damage. And you have, I don't know, like uh, auxiliary mechanics for 50. So you need, yeah, probably you need, you're usually 50 short. And you have, whatever, 25 life to mitigate that. And yeah, 2 to 1 is usually not... It's like a break-even trade, maybe break-even minus. 3 to 1 is usually to be taken against Hexagos. So, um, if you have 26 against 8, I take the 26. If I do not have Poison or Thorns, help. I think the Thorns help is a marginal argument. It's there, but it's marginal. Um, I guess only with the Thorns we have 26 is equivalent to 8. But with the Poison, 26 is not equivalent to 8. With the Poison ticks, um, having 8 more life is better. Specifically, if you have the idea that we might, it's also about the big attack. Do we have the feeling that we might be able to survive the big attack, yes or not, right? I mean, it's about this. So what speaks against uh, being able to survive the big attack? Um, we are in the one spot where we actually have 24 life, which is quite a lot of life against the Hexagos. If you ever survive to fight against Hexagos, it's if you have like something like this, 24 life. At the same time, you also had a nearly permanent weakness infliction. Well, nearly permanent weakness infliction certainly helps you certainly helps you quite a lot permanent weakness infliction permanently helps you quite a lot to survive the big attack and if you survive the big attack I would have liked to save the life yeah No, I think the scrapping was, was fine as it was. Tschüss. Ja. Bis dann. Tschüss. Okay. Okay. Okay.
even considering how bad our draw was, we mitigated almost all damage up until the big attack. I don't think that happens many iterations of the draw. Why not? You need to block one against a small attack, against the first b bigger attack, we need to block eight. We block always five, why not? I mean, um, then there's six again, then there's like 12 damage incoming. We usually take five damage on the way, so we still are at 19, maybe we are at 16, and then we need to draw one or two blocks. Would Valet then have been better than backflip? I doubt so. I think we also drew the poison late. Um, so what about this run here currently? I don't know. I mean, where where are we currently sitting? I mean, I'm 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 telling you. I mean, I I really am, I'm a little bit pissed that we lost the last four. Um, if we even lost the last four, I I don't even know. But I only know we lost like quite a lot. So, but it, it, it just doesn't feel well, you know, if you try hard and you're still losing uh, games. It just uh, sucks a little bit. So we are currently at around 64.6%. Uh, um, yeah. Let's talk about GameStop. If nothing helps, you talk about GameStop, yeah. I had another thought this day, which is like, there are so many people who are holding the stock which is not in the open market. And if you suddenly realize your stock goes up by 100 fold, <laughs> then you then you are suddenly oh my five thousand are suddenly enough to buy myself a house maybe I should my, maybe I you know like also older elderly people or whatever like people who actually are genuinely in the game stock stock and suddenly you can sell it for half a million yeah what do you do yeah you probably listen to Reddit and do not sell your stock sure yeah or you just sell your stock buy yourself a house and celebrate yeah I wonder. I really wonder who the people were like who would bought like when they when the stock was expensive because the stock so being being uh, going so up mean has to mean that people were actually buying that stock whatever at 200 at 250 I mean there were people buying the stock for 200 250 it's like I mean those guys just lost everything now yeah I mean it's not even funny but what I'm saying is I mean that's the case yeah there are some people who believe the lies that the stock will definitely go up to 4,200 because it has to happen. And who's responsible now, right? I mean, yeah, it's always like, oh, yeah, we propagated all the garbage. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, those people who propagated that the stock has to go to 4,200. They should feel shameful. No, seriously. Especially if it's like well, uh, manipulative in a manipulative way, right? Um, especially if they don't have like, for example, whatever stocks, uh, yeah, whatever, yeah. But you know, people are always very loud. And then, but uh, yeah, you know, like, um, yeah, it's always like, oh, the big in the institutions are at fault. But no, it's also like the propaganda, uh, which is at fault if you propagate, oh, this has to go to 4,200 and it doesn't go to 4,200. But who's responsible? Yeah, nobody. Suddenly everybody is quiet. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's uh, always the same monkey, 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 yeah, never monkey. Um, okay. Um, okay, so... Um, I don't know what I do with these runs here. I mean, I think this is really like a little bit like the the icing on the cake. What, like, 
Okay, let's take a look at our deck. This is break even. Glass knife, act one, but already upgraded. Positive. Break even, break even, break even, break even, break even. Unload with sneaky strike. I mean, I'm not overly excited, but you know, whatever, you know, whatever. Noxious from start, whatever. Pulse of the trade, whatever, okay. Um, blocking game, leg sweep, whatever. The deck is more or less whatever, okay. So what do we have here? Tony Turtle, whatever. Darks on Parade, whatever. Eternal Feather, yeah, I mean, that's sustain 30 in this egg. Yeah, I usually build bigger decks. So it's sustain 35 and in the next egg and then also in egg 4. It's okay. Meal tickets, whatever. Gremlin Horn is okay. Well, whatever. Coffee Dripper is very good. It's just like the free energy, you know. So we are not in a bad spot. Yeah, we are not in a bad spot. Um, we start over. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, the last the last run was. I mean, I'm feeling like uh, very bad currently. I'm not feeling that is a lot of fun for me currently. Oh, by the way, don't forget the gold. I mean, we can go into the shop here. Yeah. Um, we even have uh, overlay gold here. Uh, so. Oh, that was bad. We could have. I mean, it's also stupid. I'm just doing that because I'm also only human. Um, it's of, of course stupid to check this shop because it has no relevance. Yeah, this shop is just whatever the shop is, and that's about it. So it doesn't carry any any relevance for this run. Um, so, but since I want to know, I just take a glimpse into the shop. Yeah, usually we do not take the damage you just see. Usually we take, of course, considerably less damage. I mean, but yeah, okay. So. Um, so we get the amazing blood vial and then we can nine we should start over of course we should start over it doesn't make any sense to play this run continue to play this run yeah it makes 0.0, .0 sense zero yeah. zero point zero Hmm. Oh, we even had max HP. I also forgot about max HP. We also had max HP as well. Also, how many relics? I mean, usually, usually we go into Act uh, 3 with the uh, chest relic and three elite relics that's a standard so chest relic is one three elite relics is four uh, we had one two three four five six relics so the turnip is not that great but uh, yeah i mean we had one two three four five six relics instead And max HP. Max HP also with all the sustain. Max HP also with all the sustain. And coffee dripper. With all the sustain, coffee dripper. Hey. Oh man. Huh. I don't know. Oh. I don't know how to get out of this state of mind. I'm just, uh, I don't know. It's, uh... What, what is my biggest issue currently? Yeah, I guess maybe the misplay with the potion, careless misplay. It bothers me a lot. I don't know. Um... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, mental reset. I don't know. It's a, it's not. 
No, 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 no. Like this mental reset, you know, you do not need that if you're just uh, playing. Like I'm, I'm, I'm it's, it's, How can it be so unsatisfying to lose the last run? Maybe it's some combination of things. That maybe it's like that I think I play too careless, but maybe it's also that I think that I should know better. Maybe it's that just all things did not work out. I think it's very frustrating the last runs. We we set up so many things and literally nothing nothing worked out. Nothing. It was we set up against the bird, it didn't work out. We set up against the time meter, it did not work out. We set up here. This this game is like the 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 display of my frustration, really. Like we set up early, we we it didn't work out. We go to the chest, we lose too much life. We go into the elite fight. We get wrecked by. We, we set up for Lagavulin, we die, we, 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 we smoke bomb against Lagavulin. Nothing works out. We set up against Hexagos, Hexagos kills us. It's like the, the, the peak of frustration. Yeah? yeah I don't know. Yeah. It's. Um, yeah. Hmm. Uh, variance is variance. Yeah, but not if it wasn't variance. Not if it was not variance. Yeah. What is... If we should have just prioritized our life total. Because we had Thorns and Noxious Humes active. Against the bird, it, yesterday it was the same. Somebody suggested that we should stall out the bird. It was, it was a game. Uh, it was this game and we had the tongs and we had very bad blocking game, but somebody Somebody pointed out that we might have been able to stall the bird um, So that it upgrades our entire deck and it's not it was not so wrong like it's It was close. Maybe it was wrong But I didn't even consider it too much, you know um I think it's also the lack of goal. I think it's a lack of goal. We currently have 65 games. And I don't know exactly if I'm making the 100 pull. I think it's also to have like a clean sample. I don't know. I, I cannot say. I mean, maybe it's just the last games which are like utterly frustrating. Um, actually, three. Did we lose three? Yeah. Hmm. But those three were so frustrating. Each single one. I don't know. Was it blunt mistakes? Not exactly blunt mistake. I mean, of course, the potion we just uh, used was a blunt mistake. But, um... Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, basically what Tamora says. Yeah, it's... Um, yeah, we had a lot of fun. Um, no, no, absolutely. Yeah. Hmm. Fraser says a lost streak of 3 and sample of 100 is completely expected. I understand the frustration though. I don't think it's only that we lost them. I think it's also how we lost them. But then again, I think I'm doing like mistakes every run. Like small mistakes. And you know, sometimes they just don't matter. And whenever they matter, we see them. So... Maybe we should just take it as a lesson and move on. Um, I, I, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, but some of these mistakes, it's just. <sighs> I mean, sometimes I'm really thinking, hey, we should know better, but. Nah, yeah.
I was also already semi tilted because we needed to smoke from Lagabulin. And because we need to smoke from Lagabulin, I also played the Hexagos fight a little bit careless. Quite careless, to be honest. Hmm? Prayers is maybe have a day where you mess around and then go back to it. You know, um, I disagree with this. Doing something else, recover, and then coming back. And the reason why I usually disagree with it, and that's a, like a general thing I have in my life, is, well, you know, either things are enjoyable or they are not. And if they are enjoy enjoyable, I do them. You know, there's this... There are pe many people who do a job which is not fulfilled, which uh, does not fulfill them, right? They do something which they partly do not enjoy. So they need to have recovery time from that. Okay. So if you do something which is maybe making you sad or meaning that you need recovery time from that, yeah? Well, that's a signal. And usually this signal and that's a general thing in life, is that you m maybe should not do that. So what many people do is they take some days off or they recover and then they go back. And then they go get miserable again. And this is not like directly related to the status pirate gameplay here. But I'm just saying, you know. Um, and then you go, it's a general wisdom, you know. You go back. And then you do the same stuff again until you cannot cope it any longer. And then you take off again. And then you go back again. And the way I see it is usually if you do not like to do something any longer, well, that is actually great because that opens a whole lot of new possibilities. If you do not enjoy something any longer, well, just move on and do something different, which you enjoy, you know, because life is short. Life is actually not short. Life is pretty long. You can do a lot of stuff. But if you do 30 years the very same thing and you do not enjoy it that much, you know, then life becomes short. Mm -hmm. So, and that is the very same reason for people who are now saying, hey, why don't you play Hearthstone any longer? Or why don't you play Gwent any longer? Or, you know, but the thing is, I could only do all these things because whenever I had the feeling, okay, what I'm currently doing sucks, I could move on. And I could do something different and could, yeah, could just try out something new. So for those who are missing me in uh, Hearthstone, well, if I would have not quit poker because it messed me up, um, like emotion and like not emotionally, but like ethically, I would have never played Hearthstone. And those who miss me in um, um, and at the same time, for those who miss me in Gwent, if I would have never quit Hearthstone, I would have never played Gwent. Uh, and the other way around, you know. So, no, I think it's very important to understand if, if you have the feeling something doesn't make a lot of, or doesn't, you are not, not, you are not having fun doing something. You should evaluate why you do not have fun doing something and then making a decision upon that. And the decision is usually not you know, um, take recovery time and then go back into the misery. But it's usually, hey, why does it suck? And can you change it? And, or like, do you, you know what I'm saying, right? The usual things, right? Can you change it? Yeah, um, like you can embrace it, you can change it, you can leave it, right? But you should do one of these three. Mm, Mikro Moraki asks, does it suck because you don't enjoy stay as any longer or because I'm losing? Hmm. I don't know. It's always a combination of things. Yeah. The question is okay, what 
Hmm? Yeah, the combination of things is this is the character. Does it suck to lose that much? Was it the RNG in the last fights or in the last runs? Was it that I do have the feeling? Yeah, maybe maybe I'm overplayed. I mean, that is a possibility, you know. But I think before you th I just say, okay, like you do it too much. Maybe other things are first. Yeah. Um, maybe it's also like completely unrelated. Maybe I'm fed up because of the entire Corona situation, right? I mean, maybe I, I mean, I do not need, you know, it can be completely unrelated, you know. It could be okay. I'm, I'm feeling uh, like I'm more sad about the runs because no, no, seriously. I mean, there are the, all these lockdowns, and I'm currently like what I'm doing is playing Slayer Spire, and if that is not like, I don't know, like, if we are not winning our runs, despite putting a lot of effort into them, um, that affects me more than usual, right? Because usually there are a lot of other things to do as well. And currently, uh, I opted out of a lot of things I do not enjoy if there's, like, this corona situation around there, right? So, I don't know. I enjoy going into the library or into a museum, but not the library, into a museum, right? And into, uh, into the uh, whatever. Some, or some art galleries. Um, do I enjoy them if I have to wear some um, some monkey cage? Uh, no. Yeah. Do I enjoy going outside watching like uh, people doing stuff? Yes. If they are monkey cage, if I don't see the facial uh, facial expressions, no. Like it's very anonymous out there. Yeah. So there's a there's a whole lot about uh, um, these things, and I think it's important to analyze like what's going on. Yeah. And these moments are the best for that, instead of just like saying, oh, I just play a new one, and I just, you know what I'm saying, right? But, yeah, okay. The Mythgard, no, I enjoy usually doing one thing. Uh, it's also about the time frame. I mean, you see, we already have a hard time getting our 100 games full, and uh, we, um, if, I, if I want to do something, I want to do it 100%. Um, okay, so... Um, So, yeah. Yeah, and then there are also these things. I mean, our win rate is very good at the moment. It's not bad. I mean, we are like around 65%, 64 point something. It's a very good win rate. Yeah. Um... A very good win rate. I mean, that's. I mean, sure. Yeah. I don't know. It might even be the best win rate out there, but it's. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't. It's. It's. I don't even know like what the goal is. You know, it's like, hey, yeah, we can we can put the one hundred games and then. We will have a very high win rate, so will, will that be satisfying? I'm really, I mean, you know, I'm spending a lot of hours into these. Like, the last 20 hours were just like, or the last, whatever, 10 hours were just like garbage. I mean, I'm playing always, and then, like, bam. Then, and always so close, and always so clutch. And always also in situations, okay, this was, like, hopeless, right? But this was, yeah, I guess, maybe, maybe that's just what happened. I misplayed also in the runs we won. So, it's just, you know, sometimes these misplays are costly. I also have the feeling I misplay more than beforehand. I just don't take it so serious any longer. I don't know. And this, uh, I don't... But maybe that's just a feeling. No. Yeah. Hmm. Martha McQueen says I love <laughs> these streams one of the best part of my average work day during these rough times yeah thanks very much for the kind words 
very appreciated. No. Mm. Yeah, so Mara says, in my experience, the only thing that are satisfying for me are things that have a residual effect on my life. No, yeah, I mean, it's to be argued what these things are. I mean, it's. I mean, at the end of the day, I don't know. I mean, playing stuff like Stadia Spire doesn't make you dumber. I think actually it makes you more clever, yeah, because you use your brain. So I wouldn't even know how many things really have a residual effect on life. I mean, at the end of the day, you do something. Um, yeah, exactly. Activities have the meaning we choose to give them. Yeah, it's. Uh, if I think this is meaning, that I mean, we we have like, but no, it's true. I mean, we have to de define some some importance to it yeah so i think something about this game is perfectionizing it honestly like for me and i think it would be much easier if i would just suck at this game because then i would just probably not play it nor would i stream it it wouldn't matter to me right because and it was also always my take my take was hey Maybe at some point I'm getting dumber or whatever or older or I don't want to do that any longer and then um, Yeah, and then I just chill out whatever I go into retirement or whatever. Yeah um, But like my take was always hey as long As I can perfectionize games, I just do that and share that as well and Yeah, it doesn't Yeah, it doesn't look like uh, yeah, it's not so <laughs> And what's uh, yeah, it's I don't know. Yeah um, oh yeah. um, I think it's also sharing about how to cope with the negative things or the positive things, but also be, I mean, you know, like everything, like also being honest about feelings honest about being uh, about success and also about miss success but not lying to yourself also about the performances yeah just um i mean i don't know just like to have this kind of honesty you do not feel nowadays you do not uh, find nowadays uh, on the internet yeah the the internet is really full of garbage and um of self-representation of over-representation of lying to yourself, of faking the facts, of biasing with showcasing only the good things, never talking about the negative things because hey, we need to be so entertained. All this garbage I despise, honestly. Yeah, because it does only make people's life actually more miserable. Yeah, it, um, you you watch somebody being like always like in a in a good mood, and you know. While watching that, you feel a little bit elevated, and afterwards, you're, there's only this big, gigantic black hole where you are falling into because you know it wasn't really real, or you you compare your life with that, and you think something is wrong with, with yourself, and all those things. And no, I think it's much more than that. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think the, the stream here is much more than that, and people who are watching the stream, they also know. Um, so, but at the same time, yeah, I mean that's yeah. Sure. No. So I also don't have problems like sharing everything because this is like genuine, it's real. Uh, so also struggle, also sometimes frustration. 
Yeah, it's a... Uh, yeah. So... Yeah, I mean, nothing really happened. I mean, we made a small mistake probably in the wrong spot, which cost us the game against the Hexago. So our misplay, or the small misplay, converted into a loss. A little bit unhappy because this run wasn't bad whatsoever. No, I mean, I do not have the feeling that this is, I mean, honestly, meal ticket is not very, I mean, it's okay. I think these two are biting themselves a little bit, right? Because in Act 4, you receive full heal with e either one of them. In Act and of course, if you go to heal and then meal ticket, you know, you might overheal with sustain, sustain, sustain. But you have a lot of sustain. So it is also a matter of fact that you do not need to heal if you have those. Um, but we have a lot of HP. We, we will be able to farm max amount of elites, which is very convenient, you know. We just go through the spire. I mean, you saw, right? We healed like back to 50. Then we have a rest phase. We go to 60. We probably lose 14 in the elite fight. But that's not a problem because we heal up again, we heal up again. So. I don't know. Um, no, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm also having the feeling that I, I mean, it's, I think it's okay. I think the the goal should be to to play good, play this fire. And I think currently I'm also I also messed up in the in the winning games. So what you see here is just my average performance, obviously, yeah. And if you sometimes mess up, up small, yeah, I just repeat again, but just to grasp it, right? Um, I messed up small, and this is no different from my normal mess ups. It's just that in this case it cost us the game, so we actually have it visualized. But there were a lot of situations where I thought, okay, that was unacceptable. And because we didn't lose the run right there at this spot, I was like just shrugging it, kind of shrugging it off. Um, yeah. So I think we just go ahead. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sean, thank you very much also for the uplifting words. Um, hmm, life is a burrito, says. But then, when we win despite misplays, we feel happy? No, I do not. I do not feel happy if I win despite a misplay. That's wrong. Uh, I, I don't. If I win despite a misplay, I still feel crappy. But the other stuff is correct, yeah. But it's also true that we are closing. Uh, I mean, that's the thing. I have, don't have the feeling that we are closing on a better gameplay currently. But I guess for me, it's also I'm usually feeling bad before I have like a, a new. Yeah, that sounds a little bit stupid now. But um, before, usually I feel quite sad before I have like a breakthrough. I mean, not a research breakthrough. But um, I'm usually feeling 
more sad if a lot of people, uh, if a lot of things are kind of changing in my brain or whatever. Yeah, I know it. It, it sounds very weird. Yeah, um, but I don't mean it in an esoterical way. But indeed, like whenever I feel particularly un, um, uh, unhappy about something, or um, or a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know whether it's about the neuro neuro connections changing, and maybe that uh, uh, maybe that changes the chemical stimulants in your brain. Um, but usually, after having like a very unsatisfying phase, um, there's always a kind uh, some kind of breakthrough that I suddenly feel okay. I I grasp some concept or that I suddenly feel okay, now I'm playing much better, or I'm doing something much better. Um, it's not only applied to gameplay, but generally speaking, right? I have some problem, uh, not some problem, but I have something which keeps me busy, like some real life situation, and I'm feeling a little bit miserable about that, and usually the day after, I suddenly have a solution ready, right? I don't know. Like, so maybe that's just like the quietness before the storm. Uh. Yeah, well, Hiranik also says, right? I actually have a bit the same feeling as you, uh, you make mis uh, mistakes which are a bit uncharacteristic in the last 20, 30 runs. No, no, no. I, I exactly, exactly this. I also have the feeling I do mistakes, um, which uh, basically what you said. Yeah, basically what you said, which are a little bit uncharacteristic for me. Some some are careless mistakes. Some are just because I didn't think things through. Some are, I don't know, like just weird things, you know. Um, oh, Reckenberg says, one of the things I noticed is when you said you have an arbitrary goal, but lack positive feedback where it's deserved. It's that, much, it's that much harder to maintain a psychological balance when losing either to the seed or to the mistakes we make. That is correct. That is, that is definitely correct. So, um, but the thing is, these arbitrary goals, I do not have the feeling that the appreciation for the arbitrary goal lacks. Um, I mean, there is a lot of positive feedback coming through. But it is also true that sometimes the positive feedback doesn't match the expectation, which also cannot be the case. But what I'm saying is sometimes appreciation comes through when I think, okay, that was whatever. And sometimes when I think, okay, like that was so sick, a lot of appreciation is uh, like uh, that, that, I mean, that, that was so sick, like... Uh, and no, like uh, very few people understand it, and then that's also kind of um, the the feedback doesn't match what I feel very often. Yeah, if that might make sense. Um, in kind of a way, I receive partly positive feedback for things I deem to be easy or obvious, while I do not receive a lot of positive reinforcement for things where I thought, okay, wow, that was freaking difficult. You know, they usually we make a play after an hour, and that play, for example, turns out to be unsatisfying, but was a very good play, you know. Then I'm thinking, wow, that was an amazing play. And people are like, yeah, but it didn't work out. And I'm like, okay. Uh, I'm not even talking about those guys who say, oh, are we still in the same, uh, are we still in the same spot after an hour? Yeah, not even talking about that. So, but yeah. Um, it's true, it does match 100%. Yeah. Pavok says, maybe you're finding uh, out the goal of 100 runs is less appealing as I thought. No. I think that's not the case. I find it very nice to round up the 100. Pretty fine and very clean as well. I like that a lot. Peterson focus. I don't even know what Peterson is. Eh? 
Can you give me a rundown? What Jordan Peterson? What, what is about that? I have no. I have no, I'm not informed. I don't know what that is. Hey, oh, that's about cool. Hmm? Das war der letzte. Was? Ob das der letzte Run ist oder was? Ja, ja. Äh. Oh, das ist der Lied. Oh, gut, oder? Ähm, 64,5 habe ich gerade so. Okay, I'm not. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, Is it lemonade? No, no. That's like ginger. Uh, by my beloved wife created ginger super drink um, with a lot of good ingredients a little bit um, lemon oh. um, okay so I mean, very often it's also difficult to define because depending on, yeah, I don't know, like some, some factors are also, I don't know, some, sometimes you don't even uh, really, I mean, I don't know, some runs are just so much fun and sometimes, uh, I mean, the last runs were really just tough, like, I don't know, yeah, but. Not even so much about winning or losing, but how. Hmm. What is the best what can happen? Receiving an easy run? I'm not even sure what happens if I receive an easy run. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Oh. <sighs> um Yeah, the best that could happen would uh, that you fundamentally change your view on certain aspects. Yeah, I think that's a good start. Yeah, let's let's take a look at the cards and take a look like what's what's happening, what's not happening. Um, I mean, I think the take on the three on the three ways how to play the silent did not change, and. I mean, we could also argue that, I don't know, I mean, 70-75% may be optimal gameplay and we are very close, I mean, we are playing the silent down with 65, which is, which is freakingly good, um, which is just freakingly good. I don't even know what the questions which remain are. 
I think we already got how we play the layouts. I think we got like the Neo choices. Yeah, the three archetypes are exactly these, yeah. Um. Yeah, I think if we just override the frustration maybe with something which works out, that might be probably a good way. Let's do this and if it doesn't work out, then uh, we can still discuss further. Yeah. Uh, what am I talking about? Naya, I think talking about these things after the last three runs are really just nonsense. Um, yeah, I don't think that makes any sense to... I think the last round was just a nail in the coffin for me, like um, satisfaction wise and um, oh. yeah exactly what Fluoro says, yeah, we have to decide between the left wing and the right wing here and I would also appreciate if he would focus on that. So um, this, we play one. We play one, if we win, we see whether the mindset changes. If it doesn't change, we can still continue to talk about like what's going on here. But hey, thanks very much for your sub. <laughs> um, time to play up. <laughs> text, uh, oh no, you mean this takes time. No, no channel points time here. No, 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 no taxes here. Okay. Um, we play this run. If we succeed, we will see whether the mood completely changes because then we can just whiff, right? Then whatever. Then it was just like super frustration about a lot of things which went wrong, okay? And if we lose this run again, maybe by the time we also come down, and well, you know what I'm saying. Let's just play another run and do future conclusions after this run. Okay. So, but it was also good to, to get like, to, to sort things a little bit. I liked it. I like that. Okay. Um, hey, Onima Riku, thanks very much for the sub. Uh, Basically, what Reckenberg says, yeah, knowing why you were frustrated can definitely help. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, okay. So it's never enemies, uh, this is never this against Guardian. Yeah, so it's a transform. And we always transform this. Glass knife bullet time. Glass knife is a formidable upgrade. Glass knife is a formidable upgrade and bullet time works with Sneko. So we should think about Sneko. Two rares. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we should think about Sneko. We want to upgrade the glass knife. I mean, the bullet time is not that great at the beginning. Yeah, the bullet time is not that great. But if you find Sneko Eye, we can use that. Sneko run would be exactly what I'm looking forward to this run. Um, that would definitely lift up my mood. A nice, sorted Sneko run with the bullet time. That would be exactly what I'm looking forward to. And uh, bullet time will pay us later. Yeah, probably. If you, if you live by that point. So we have to fire Elite and double Elite. Double late Elite, also nice. The layout is great, by the way. Guardian is perfect, late late elite is perfect, after fire is perfect, late elite is perfect, and then we have either late late, uh, either elite elite or fire elite into that. So I like the layout. Um, yeah, let's take three monsters into fire into elite. Um, burning elite might be okay with glass knife. Not upgraded? Never. Never. Uh, you want to do what? Four monsters? Also unacceptable. This is a suicide. If you want to not win yeah uh, if you don't want to win you do exactly what you do bomb bullet time actually that's a lot of fun to play with the bullet time you can always play your entire hand now it's not good it's only good turn one okay that was cool now we kill with double strike or we block good fight speed potion is not good Sucker Punch, Roll, Auto Attack, Dodge and Roll. 
Yeah, I mean, all out attack is the first uh, AoE. Uh, and uh, Sucker Punch sucks without an upgrade. We already want the upgrade on the Glass Knife. So it's all out attack on nothing. Uh, I usually do not. All out attack is great for the cubes on Twances. I usually do not like all out attack. It's also bad against the Guardian. Um, but I guess skipping is also out of the option, uh, out of the question. You reckon Bear says all out attack? Oh no. Yeah, I also do not like it. But you want to skip this? Not really, right? Skipping this is even worse than not taking all out attack, in my opinion. Um, But it's also a little bit weird with the bullet time if you also do survivor, right? Then we have to survivor. It's really weird, but yeah. Do the opposite of what I would usually do. Yeah, yeah. Um, all out tech was always like very sad whenever we played it. Um, But I believe we can even upgrade it here, partly. It pretty much solves the cubes. Yeah, I don't know about that. I wouldn't be so certain about this solving the cubes. I mean, allowed to take also wants an upgrade. But yeah. I mean, the other options just suck hard, so, okay, let's upgrade this. Well, auto tech was better than... Huh. We're ahead of the curve right now, so you would have not taken all auto tech, or... Regia Dito says all out attack is underrated. I don't think so. Why do you think it's underrated? I'm taking a bit of rate here. We have all out attack. Yeah, haha. <laughs> That's completely nonsense, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, we have a bit rate, what? I mean, maybe we should have not taken it with the glass knife, but I mean. Yeah. What? I would say Dagger Spray is just nicer than all out attack almost. Yeah, me too. I like Dagger Spray more than all out attack. Slightly. Okay. Uh, Viscerate can be played with bullet time, that's why I'm asking. can afford to skip. We cannot take slice with bullet time, but we can eviscerate with bullet time. Discard King. Yeah, I don't know about Discard King, but I take definitely the eviscerate here, so much I can tell you. Um... Hmm. Hmm, you want this cut king or what? Really? You think that makes sense? I was also thinking that the eviscerate also benefits from this neck eye. Right? Yeah, I would also not take it. I mean, only for the... no. Yeah. I also don't like it. Huh. Uh, bullet time is not bad here. Play bullet time. Can glass knife... 
Oh, bullet time is not needed. Oh yeah, it's not needed because defend. Yeah, it's true. True, true, true. No, 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 it's true, true, true. True, true, true. One example of the misplace you do on the side. So this is plus six, single targeted plus four, multi targeted. Uh, what do we want to do? All out for sure. For sure. Because we always play all out, but we do not always play eviscerate or why? Because we do not play eviscerate if you have glass knife in the hand, yeah? Last knife strike uh, all out attack is open. We have survivor neutralized in the deck. I like that it's open. Colorless potion makes sense here, right? Apotheosis. Why not, right? Cannot go wrong too much with that, or what? Oh, Metamorphosis is also not bad. Metamorphosis is 3 attacks for 0 energy. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean... Uh, uh, it's nothing to be gained by just randomly naming cards. Like, the question is which one is better. And the Apotheosis is just better, right? Because we increase, like, all the upgrades is pretty nice. Yeah. I don't know why you would say that the... Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think this is just better and not a little bit. So, what about that now? Is it not better to wait? I mean, this is uh, 33... What? 33... 47... I'll probably just attack still. Yeah, Metamorphosis can also lower it pretty hard, of course. I do not mind having everything upgraded. Uh, I mean, specifically not if you neutralize this guy now. Um, could play Survivor and Eviscerate. Yeah, let's do that. I mean, heh. Pretty damn strong. Taking four here, not pro, no problem. Here definitely block full because everything is upgraded. Nice fight. Hmm. Yeah, the bullet time. Neutralize. Strike dummy. Interesting. Strike dummy. We still have all four strikes. It's okay. Then I think you know. Or oh, you want a grand finale? Pog champ. Where is that pog champ, please? It's a rare we do not want to see. What is our upgrade? We have a viscerate upgrade. Neutralize upgrade. We already have AoE. Uh, how certain are you that bullet time is a good thing? I don't know. I mean, I personally do not like the bullet time too much. Um,
Mm -mm. I don't like it. What on Ponce is no way? No way that what? Yeah, bullet time is just not good. To even go Snacko if offered. Uh yeah, Snacko would be reasonable. But the time is awesome. No. Guys, guys, this is what I mean. Like, without any argument, half of the chat is bullet time is awesome and uh, half of the chat is bullet time is garbage. So, how comes that a card is garbage and bull crap and, uh, and super good at the same time? How? Yeah? Magic. Yeah. <clears throat> Bullet card time is rather a late game card, yeah? What Nazis is, I think only one person has said it's bad. No, many people have said it's bad, and it's also true, it's not so good early. Yeah. If you only if you don't want to block it block, it's also bad. Yeah. Bullet time is a type of card you build your deck around and with eviscerate you're almost there. How are we almost there with the eviscerate? Uh, how how what the heck? It's also so super garbage against the Guardian. Against the Argy, Guardian is super sad. Okay, warum, warum put CT for the list? Okay. Um, no, it has to go. It's garbage, please. It's probably something you would not even... Peace wave is super trash. I never want to remove curses because we have Doodle. We definitely do not want to remove strikes for plus 10. So we would like to what? Remove defense for rest plays. Pipe for hammer dripper? No. Hammer, this is not good for dripper. We might want to remove strikes later. No, or not. Or not. No. It does not even work with all auto tech, the bullet time. The bullet time all auto tech is counter synergetic, guys. Yeah, bullet time all auto tech. But do you want to play bullet time and then you have to play this card? It's really sad. No, only garbage. Man.
Na ja, Storm of Steel ist 20 Damage, ja. And Storm of Steel Slater can convert Daisus. Backflip is nice for second iteration. Maybe even okay now. Maybe might even be okay now. Uh, glass knife and all auto attack turn 2 is guaranteed. Yeah, I like that. On the other hand, Storm of Steel deals directly with this stuff. I mean, blocking five now. Oh no. I mean, you could argue this is 20 and 20 is good. Might be a little bit simple minded, but. Killing middle? Yeah, we can never kill the middle one. I think they're just correct. And the next turn, we might be able to dodge the block 31. We might be able to block the door, let's go to dodge the block, I don't know. Depending on what we draw, you know. Um, I basically set it up for Glass Knife Strike Neutralize. And if we indeed draw all out attack, we overkill a little bit. Yeah, Like I set it up that Glass Knife Strike can also kill that, so we basically always kill it. And we should also just do that. Yeah, so Glass Knife, Glass Knife all out attack kills that, sure. And uh, strike, uh, neutralize all out or whatever. Nah, yeah, because next time we still have block. But next time. Um, very sad overkill. No, it's fine. What do you mean, very sad? Mm, very good fight. Smiting master is garbage. Fortunately, we did not even take the peace pipe. Unfortunately, we we we, we received the peace pipe. Uh, deflect, choke, poison. Can we face a knob now? Of course. Take this here. Uh, uh, shop is nice, elite is nicer or what? I mean shop shop gives us smiling mask value plus 50 compensation. Um but of course the elite gives more value. A wizard it costs zero. Yeah, wizard costs zero. Okay. Um we just face the cube to neutralize it now better. And we have so much damage. Yeah. yeah, the knob is not very happy here for sure. I mean, he's under siege. I'm happy to not have bullet time in this fight for sure. Uh, neutralize is good, eviscerate is 24. Um, is that for me? Papaya? Papaya, papaya with the uh, here. Look at this. I get papaya, papaya plus uh, what is it? Oh, lecker. Huh? Oh, like whipped cream. No, oh, my whipped cream. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh yeah, that's super. That's super. Uh, coffee would be great. Yeah. More. Oh, so maybe. I'm. Um, I'm. Um, um. Hey, no. Hmm? The knob. Where is, where is she? Where's the knob? Mm-hmm. Not that, um. Mm hmm. What is it? Mm hmm. Dubudo and Strike Dummy. Put it against Guardian is good. Okay, um, this relic, how is it? Normal. This relic, how is it? Normal. This relic, how is it? 
garbage. This record is it. Garbage. Okay. Hmm. And we received four relics in total of six beforehand. But maybe I should not compare that. Ah, I want to not compare. Perfect. Ah, I do better. I do. Mm hmm. Have to take a non upgrade prepared. What oh, somebody says the card choice are not nice. Oh, no way, the card choice are not nice. What? <laughs> the card choice are obviously big pressure, and that's true. Hmm. Not 35 is the only thing. Twenty six for three. It makes sense. There was a better way. We can gamba gamba. We could have gamba gamba, but I didn't want to. Why? No reason. Gumba 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 ape gumba 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 okay um uh, this curse will I, I will I will manipulate the curse so that you draw it for ages look at this another no no this not this time not this time not this time para okay bam -ba -dum. 24 no damage hmm it's broken Activation station. Okay. Oh, the strikes are very mighty. Hmm. Mm. What if I played uh, this card of this raid now? What do we want here? Mm hmm. Hmm. Fast act one. No, true. My days since you already have AOE, okay? Mm hmm. You mean because the strikes are also good, yeah? No, you won't. No, Mm. Yeah, I should do a short break, guys.
What's up? Malay is because of Book of Freaking. Book of Freaking. Yeah, let's convert the strikes with the strikes. I mean, that's freaking clever. Yeah, okay, let's take the ruin tom. I don't know. I am very much in the mood of doing some stupid things. Okay. Um. Uh, oh. Wow. Great options, Spire. Great options. Love those options. Hmm. You win this year, right? It depends on how much we think we are good against the lead. Against against the book, we can just malaise it. I think trading against bites is criminal. Yeah, you take a criminal charge if you convert the strikes against bites here. Oh. So you can either go elite farm. The downside is no question marks. Whereas the question marks are usually nice in act two. How are we against elites? Against the book of stabbing, we can malaise. Against the gorilla lot of gremlins, we suffer. Against the slavers, we are. I don't know, allowed to take a glass knife, plus shift potion, plus energy. But left gives an extra lead, an extra, and two shops. Oh, you mean this shop? Yeah. Don't know about this shop, whether this shop is so cool, but you're, you're right that the right doesn't do that. So mostly just... Mm -hmm. Um It doesn't attack. Oh, she attacks for 8 or not. Yeah. We currently have guaranteed next and draw 20. But maybe we are weak. So we take an average, we take um, 4 damage on average if I do not do this. We could also only do the 24 in block. Uh, but then we are short on damage if we do not draw another strike. No, we always receive the days. So... On the other hand, we could just go in. And we take 4 on average, this fight is solved. So, 4 on average, the fight is solved. On the other hand, we most likely do not take 4, which is pretty cool. So, if you do not... If you do this... We save ourselves for life. In most of the cases, in one and three, do we take more than twelve damage? We can even use a potion. I don't think that we take more than four damage. Let's play it this way. It just doesn't make any sense to play different. No, cool. Black sweep. Black sweep can be upgraded. We also have energy for that. Um, 
our attacking game is there and we have footwork so leg sweep is possible um yeah leg sweep is nice it's a uh, block we can also weakness is also an upgrade melee is also upgrade leg sweep is nice yeah let's take that then uh yeah that is like uh we could take one strength as well But the max HP is actually not even threatening. Free curse, yeah, but we don't want to take that, right? You really want to take that? Hmm. I don't know. This is not even that bad. 16 HP for 5. Because our life HP is so low. Smiling mask. Yeah, but you do not remove curse if you take it. We can take the strength here. We can take the curse for the strength, that's about it. But you are saying the decay is a bad card. I think once we have some blade dances that would be okay. But before that it doesn't make any sense. Well, auto attack would discard it. Yeah, but it's about the curse in the deck. I don't know. Last knife is growing. Yeah. Um. So you're saying we go for a very super mega big deck or what? I mean, we did it the one other day and we failed miserably. Yeah. So. But yeah, one strength is not so bad. Okay, fine. I agree that one strength is not the worst. And we need to be a little bit faster with our garbage. 44 uh, uh, This lethal 44 and we can neutralize the other one and block one We could also kill this and block two Take one damage. Yeah, I mean, we kill. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Do you are so great, Spire? Please inspire me. Please. Yeah, that's so cool. You are so cool. Okay. Wow. You are so cool. Okay. Hmm. Hmm.
No, it doesn't make any sense. So maybe you should just block full. Uh, 35. Maybe it doesn't even attack us this turn. Yeah, on the other hand, that's pretty good, so... Yeah, probably taking this if I just do this, but I don't know. There are some hands which tank us if you do this, though. I don't know. Yeah, wow, it attacks. Yeah, man, I... Uh. So well, three is good enough. Let's no, really attack again. I mean, this is so freaking stupid. Oh, I mean, this is so stupid. Oh man. Upgraded or what? Twenty... Twenty... Twenty-two plus twenty-four, forty-six... Hmm.
Notion Rule Plus is operated. Upgrade my lace. A bit on the eighteen. No. Hmm. Anchor. On a mental fan, it seems we will be stay physical. It's also better when we do not see intent. Or remove the curse or keep the strength, I keep the strength. Remove a strike, right? Remove defend. You want to remove defend? Yeah, because of the bad footwork plus. <laughs> and one likes buying the potion. You know that we can just remove for 50 gold. But they are removing uh, strikes if they deal 11 damage, it's weird. Blocking if you do not know what to block is weird. Do you really want to remove? Yeah, defend if, if any or not. Strike can also remove strike. Is that weird? Start with Malays. We can never start with block because we have anchor. Malays is very good against Book of Stabbing. Malays is very good against. Uh, it's also against a lot of gremlins. It's okay ish, kind of. I don't know. It's good in some fights, yeah, and some it's not. In this fight, it's probably good. So, we can Malays for 5, bring it to 2 times 2. Um. Okay. Why not? Insane. Naya, yeah, insane. I mean, it hits for 24. It's like 19 weakened. Footwork first. No, I think Malays for bigger is better. <laughs> Against the multi steps, no? It's also that you can always like block with the remaining, so I'm not even so sad about big hits. But hey, I mean, but it does not need to be the big hit. Hey, hmm, this is dumb.
<sighs> what? We do no damage though. What do you mean we do no damage though? The freaking book at on 23. In like 4 turns. What do you mean we do? Okay. This could be a big hit. What do you mean this could be a big hit? Is it not guaranteed a big hit? What did he do now? Which turn are we? It hit uh, multi attack, then it hit big step. Then it hit tiny, tiny, or what? Was it not like two times multi? What did we do? He had two multi attacks, right? Yeah. I think so, yeah. It's guaranteed big now, right? Turn one, we set up my lace. He did. Uh, Tiny steps. Turn two, we attacked and block block, and he did big hit. Turn three, we played dodge and roll. Turn three, we played dodge and roll. He played multi. Turn four, we whatever played, and he multied. Now we are turn five, we are not dodge and rolled, and he will big hit. Big hit means 24 minus 5, 19. Minus weakness is minus 5, 14. He will need 14, and plus this is 16. So we will take 7 damage. And you want to do this instead of taking 7 damage. Really? Why? Am I sure about rounding here? Yeah. Miscalculation? No, I don't think so. So we can either keep the potion or we can, I mean, the potion is 24 damage. And we can take 7 life loss for the potion. Keep in mind that the potion is 4 block and 24. So I would just take the 7. Yeah. Yeah, we go to 1 and then we, then we rest, I think, yeah. I think resting is legit. And then I would um, remove and then I would go here. Oh, I think so, right? Oh. I'm pretty sure. Oh. Vaira, Vaishra. Did I die finisher? Did I die? Can take this against the slavers. It's also good against a lot of gremlins. Let's take that. Rest or not? Probably not. Shop for remove. See back of traps, he leads. I just ignore them. I do not even care. What do we remove? Could have also gone right. Right would have also been possible, I don't know. Was right better? Not so much, right? Um, another defend, yeah? Because these strikes are now attacking for one strength. Did I say one? When I said one, I meant three. And when I said three, I actually meant six. Uh, and when I said 6, I meant 6 plus block. So, um, 12 damage and block? No. What's the plan against the knight? Yeah, yeah whatever. They're yeah, all in. I'm all in. Yeah, klar. I'm all in, man. I'm all in. Okay. Uh, 12 damage, yeah? <laughs> the max defense utilization, I don't know what... What does it mean? Yeah, I just say just a bit of defend, yeah. Good talk. Do we have anything else to buy now? Okay. If that we could buy. If that comes to zero energy, it's not so bad, but uh, it's not upgraded. I think it just sucks. Let's pick it, otherwise. Fine. Um.
Hmm. That's what I've removed the curse. Yeah, good for you. Um, go okay. Um, what? Uh, what about? Uh, huh. I don't know. It's weird. Dodging roads are also nice. Yeah. Okay, so you want to strike, neutralize, fat, and malate the other, yeah? Any dodge and roll? No. Just malate you for four, right? Can't I dodge and roll malate for three, but that's weird. We could also use a potion to kill this. If you manage for 4 and she would attack, she would actually attack for 3 damage plus 5, so we don't take damage. With Malaysia, you fully block. So, we keep the potion for now or what? Probably. Okay. Um. The idea is that she attacks for 5 times 3 or what? I see. So we can either play the knife or we can also play cunning and cunning also means we block. Uh, this also means we block at the same time, I like that. No, actually it always means we block. Hey, Tormugi, and thanks very much uh, for your raid. Yeah, very much appreciated. Yeah. Domo <laughs> arigato. Okay, um, here, 30, 30, 30, we take 15. Next turn, the all-out attack kills this collateral. I mean, this could also summon now. It's 50-50, so on average, it's uh, a lot of damage waste for a little bit of more damage. I think I like to... Ah, but we cannot even guarantee our auto attack. I guess we just ditch this. Fifteen, but we cannot even guarantee the fifteen. So rather take the damage, right? And have the shift potion ready for later. Ah, okay, she attacks. At least if she attacks now, we know that she doesn't attack later. Mm. Right. If she attacks now, um, we still live. So I would take it to chance. No. Sometimes it's good to have the information whether they attack you or not. You know. Oh. Let's upgrade it and attack. Let's take this. Losing every 50 50? Oh, yeah. I don't have the blood pile for no reason now. Um.
Um, so we're gonna strike all auto attack as a possibility. Potion? No, not potion. What is my life for two? Yeah, Louis. Hey! Mm. Mm. Back flip, really. Oh no. I guess we don't want to die against any kind of system. No, let's use that potion here. That'll be good. I could have played in Venom. Uh, maybe in Venom is okay. Oh, that was maybe not me. Yeah, the intensest runs, I guess.
Oh Mann, hey. Ja, ich weiß es nicht mehr. Ich, ich, ja, im I'm dann. I'm dann, guys. Also, I don't know. Ja, yeah, I'm like, okay. Whatever, guys. Seriously. Ja. <lacht> yeah. It's, uh, I was thinking maybe play one more and maybe, you know, maybe I recover, but I, this is stupid. Like, I'm, oh. Uh, this is dumb. Um, so, we can, uh, we are at least not weakened, so I guess, Yeah, we, we probably play potion and turn. No. I also don't see not uh, much these fights. I just like this is just so dumb, man. This is just so dumb. Crazy. No. Mm-hmm. Oh, since we cannot kill. Yeah, we are probably just dead now, yeah? Also, 40 no. Okay. No, actually, we are alive. We are alive. We are too strong for this guy. Okay, we have to hurry before the next heart attack comes in, otherwise we definitely die. Uh, stimmt, we are, we are not vulnerable and no frail. We are not vulnerable and not frail. Yeah? Not bad. Not bad at all. Really good force block. But also play this, 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 this more block. It's better. It's more poison though, but hmm. Hey <laughs> Hey money! Nee. Ja, okay, wow. Wow. Okay. Now we, because we played, oh man. This is 1830, uh, 34, 36, 40, 42, if you would have played it very slow. No. Hmm. Yo. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not Oh. Maybe I should have taken the port transform from the box, from the Pandora's box, that was probably a bit better. Yeah. Hmm. No, no, like that's uh, it was dome or it was like the Pandora's box, and Pandora's box was 
it was difficult to take to be taken because we had footwork and uh, with footwork every defend becomes better slightly so defend are not good converts i mean not amazing converts uh, usually one convert like one transform is plus 100 gold but if it's in this stage of the game maybe it's only plus 90 if it's on defense which are being empowered by footwork plus is only 80 so four transform four defend transform is 300 gold and then we transform the strikes but we do not transform normal strikes we transform strike damage strikes so that's maybe 40 gold each so we are looking down at a convert for maybe 400 gold maybe 450 there was an empty cage the empty cage is worth 200 so the empty cage is never and then there's a dome the dome the extra energy is usually worth 700 800 gold but the disadvantage of the dome is uh, certainly real how real well i mean we know enemy patterns so the thing is that we yeah i mean we know enemy patterns is just that some enemies are doing random patterns so i guess um maybe the dome is only 300 gold and so we should have taken the transform but then that being said we really needed the extra energy because our deck was expensive we built it kind of expensive because of the bullet time yeah so just to take a look we had malaise which needs the energy badly we had eviscerate which needs the energy we i mean we had a lot of cards which need the energy badly so yeah Hmm. No, we are just, uh, yeah, I mean, what can I say? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, man. Oh, Mm. Uh, playing for the satisfaction of a victory no i don't even think so that's a problem i think uh, i don't know uh, i mean we are looping because we are back to uh, the same stuff like two hours ago yeah so mm. I have the win rate in these tilt runs seems a lot lower than normal runs. Sure. Hmm. 
What do we have? 66 games. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Fire is absolutely also unfriendly to us, but I mean, I don't know. How can you even say this? How were we doing? How were we holding up with this deck? Ring of Snake, yeah. Strike Dummy sucks big time later. Voodoo Doll is also extremely weird. I mean, it can never be worse than a Vajra, so it's not so bad. But uh, Smiling Mask sucks big time. Small Bank is garbage. The uh, Runic Dome is unacceptable. Blood Riot is trash. Anchor we bought. On a Metal Fan is fine. We didn't have Blade Dance though. Bottled or Lighting is garbage. Uh, Vajra was okay. Gremlin Horn is late. This is bad, this falls off, this is okay, this is bad, this is bad. Uh, it's like a, a pile of garbage. Like, I don't. This is all acceptable with this, but nothing more. And uh, that was also not so bad, the Dodge and Roll Plus, right? I mean, that this comes in with it, the footwork is actually quite nice. Yeah, that's actually very nice. That you got a Dodge and Roll Plus with the footwork, that's cool. And we had the base cards also a little bit down, but yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's not the weakest character. It's definitely not the weakest character any longer. So. break from the side and needed uh, I don't know I don't think it's uh, silent specific I don't think it's silent specific I think it's just I don't know I would assume I would assume I just try the very best and if it uh, just fails it's not silent specific I think so, I think so. I had a little break with Mythgard. <laughs> we drafted a lot of Mythgard. Also successfully, I don't know. I mean, I would assume Mythgard can be as as frustrating. Yeah, you you set up everything and then some bullcrap happens and then you know. Uh, um, How many games did you play from the 50? 16. Interesting. Hmm. Any game with RNG can be frustrating. Maybe there's no reason to uh, it's just downswing. Uh, yeah. Probably. But you also see how we lose the games. Did you just see the night fight? No, no, like no. In all seriousness, I mean, did you just see? Did you just did you just see the Lord of Gremlin into the night fight? We play the Lord of Gremlin. We go on 50-50. We lose the 50-50. We go on a 75-25. We lose the 75-25. We go against the knight. We block. He does not attack. We block. He does not attack. We do not block. He attacks. Yeah. And this happened. Like I don't know. I mean, you saw the fight, right? I and mean, what what uh, I mean 
Bull, Bullcrap hoch 10. Also, ja. Yeah. He did always exactly the opposite of what we prepared for. It's whatever, ja. Yeah. It's okay, it's okay. I mean. Yeah, I cannot even say downswing because, I mean, I mean, we are not. We are 66 games in. But, I mean, that's one of the reasons why we play 100, right? Wow. Well, just the nature of the dome. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Ah, I mean, was is this then? I mean, was is this then? Okay. Okay, let's check GME. Let's check GME. Okay. Also, uh, what, uh, when, when, I, when do they start? When do they start? They start um, um, 9:30 NYSE. Uh, 9:30 is 15:30. Uh, ah, even for that, I'm too late. Even for that, I'm too late. Uh, Am I saying there's a correlation between my win loss and GME? Well, I mean, would you would you claim any different or what? Would you claim any different? I see a very strict correlation there. You would be a fool to claim that there is no correlation between my win rate and the GME stock course. A fool. <laughs> okay, we play another one. Yeah, okay, let's do it. <laughs> I mean, this is so dumb, guys. I mean, I, I, I can, I can feel that we are winning this one now. Yeah. Can you feel that too? No, that's good. Then we are feeling the same. Slime is waiting? Mm -mm. It's a guardian. <sighs> ah, what garbage options. Remove. 
unless you want to know. Let's remove. Oh, what? Heimser says, oh, you really bought GME, Heimser. Not, no, really? <laughs> what? I hope, I hope you didn't fall for it and bought too expensive, man. I hope you didn't buy for over $10 each stock. Only one stock for the memes. Okay, okay, that's fine. Are you still ahead? Okay. Two hundred twenty. Oh. Oh. Okay. I see. I see. Sorry, Daniel says I'm missing you play competitively like in tournaments. Yeah, but that's even worse if you think about it, you know. I mean, that's even more RNG. If you have single tournaments, can we say uh, neutralize this um, triple block? Or, or. We kill the slime now and it's maybe better. Yeah, neutralize slime and triple block is possible. Then we play strike strike next turn. Strike strike block. Yeah. I think I like that. Yeah, we are trying to hold the line. Mm, the Roma lover still remembers the game where I killed Trump turn 4 with Phaeton Warrior. Yeah. Uh, turn 4 was turn 6. What diamond hands into the moon and the beyond? Yeah, absolutely. Um, if there is one game which takes my most competitiveness, it's like this game here, Slayer's Fire. I don't know what this competitive talk is about. Like this, this game here demands more, more than the other games together. Uh, if you want to perfectionize this game, you it's so much more complex than the others, and so much more like deep and more deepness, more depth, more everything. I mean, more hours to master that it's more like it's deeper, it's like more interesting. You have more decision making. Everything is better. Uh, I don't know. Um, uh, what the uh, cloak and dagger or sneaky are safe, safer than the poison step, you say?
We are very small in the deck. Survivor Sneaky Strike does happen. No, we are small in the deck. The deck has 11 cards, minus curses 10. We, we get the curse, or very, we, we get this combo very often. Yeah? Um, Let's remove. What do we remove? Strike, because we picked an attack. And because we face the Guardian now? Do you think? I think so, yeah. Eviscerate? Well, oh. Eviscerate is better than Sneaky Strike, no? You know what? We can play Survivor. Sneaky strike and eviscerate. <laughs> ah, and there were people doubting, right? There were people doubting this combo. Yeah, they were like, I heard people doubting this combo. And now it just happens, you know? Now it just happens. And everybody is quiet. I hear nothing any longer. Yeah, wow. The Oracle. Yeah, ah, Reflex is nice with more discard, but there's Dagger Throw. And Dagger Throw with the discard, with the discard, reads discard. I'm happy that we removed the strike. A gar. Wow, 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 wow. Another oracle. Because remove strike all the pick all the pick attacks. If if we would have removed defend, cry, cry, cry. But no, we removed the strike. So we can pick attack, 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 attack. Because we removed the strike, guys. They already mentioned that we removed the strike. Oh wow. Okay, cool. Um yeah, let's do that. It's bad, right? They are so sneaky. Yeah. AOE out, I don't know. We are quite strong. None of them have keyword. Yeah, but Dagger Spray is a good card. So 8 damage AOE. 
certainly better than the strikes we have is certainly better than the blocks we have, I don't know. AoE seems okay, yeah the first AoE is fine. What are our upgrades? I think we can upgrade this rate and the AoE. Probably AoE first. So Mega Spray is still fine. Knock on 9 please. Mm -hmm. mm. uh, skill potion? Skill potion? Poison and... Poison and discard. Even weakness, even leg sweep, more. Deadly poison is 12, blatance is 12. Um, concentrate. I regret having played neutralize, of course. That was. No, I actually do not regret it. Concentrate is. Concentrate is also 12, but it's bad later. So. So, Blatant is better because it's more damage later. That is better on the second round, or Blatant is better on the second round. I could have um, with the concentrate. We could have dealt 15 damage if I would have not re. If I would have not discarded neutralized, we could have concentrated. Bam, 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 yeah, for 15. So because I did not do that, minus minus three damage. But if you redraw it, it's better because redrawing concentrate sucks, and redrawing the other one deals uh, considerably more damage. So yeah, and we will redraw it. So I'm not sad about it. Like if you, if you redraw it here, you know. So what do we have? Defense cannot be good. Twenty one. Yeah, the other place for one. I don't know. Uh, why I'm so pissed? I'm so pissed. It's unreal, man. I'm telling. I mean, why is what is that for a bad fight again? Why are the fights so bad? Can can the spire not give like a small break or something? Just like a freaking small break on the, on the garbage. By the way, ah, whatever. No.
Fumes against the Guardian. No. Fumes is very bad in all other fights. You want the back? Oh, the back is interesting, but I don't think we want it because we have Survivor and we already have Survivor and Dagger Throw in a relatively small deck. Mm, sometimes the back gives us Eviscerate, but it kind of needs an upgrade. We don't have upgrades. We don't have upgrades available, you know. Sometimes it's okay with sneaky. I don't know. Can we not do better than that? I guess it's good with the eviscerate. Yeah, it's not good. So Prep not upgraded is so weird, right? Is it? I don't know. I think with the eviscerated plays, it also plays with the sneaky strike. Does it play with the sneaky strike? If you play the prep, it also sneaky strike becomes free and you will have problems playing the other cards, correct? Against the knob, it also does not, not play. I don't think so. I don't think it's good enough. I don't know. Golden point is popular. That's not bad to sustain. Um There is something about the uh yeah we can for four no it's also more than four uh, against Lagavulin for the odds I don't know Big potion is probably was probably not the best idea, I guess. Oh, no. uh, give me something one time please. Irgendwas. Ich meine Sneaky Strike. Oh my god, then I would yeah, but okay, maybe did not know. Uh, garbage, right? We don't want it, or do we want it? What cards do I want to see now? I have no clue. What is our upgrade? I think we should be fine. I mean, our strikes are strike damage. Oh. Okay. We have 14 cards in the deck. And 14 cards, we have 5 blocks, which is 35%, uh, which is the normal distribution of blocks. In this small deck, we have 2 discard cards. Survivor and Dagger Throw. That's perfectly fine. Even this Eviscerate, if we are out of energy afterwards, it's fine. Because if we block and then we go out of energy, that's also fine. We have the Strike Dummy for these 3 strikes, which is also fine. And we also have Sneaky Strike, which is upgraded with the Strike Dummy, which is more than fine. We have this for Sustain. We have Dagger Spray for AoE. I don't know what's going on currently. I don't know why we are losing 20 life there, 20, 10, 20 there. I'm ultra on tilt. And I don't even think that we are playing the fight so bad. I just think like, I don't know. Everything is garbage. I don't understand. Yeah. I mean, it really becomes annoying, you know, because a little bit of like getting into our direction would be nice. I'm really super a little bit mad here. Yeah. Because, you know, yeah, it was 90 HP now. Yeah, I know, I know. I mean, what I'm saying is, what the heck? Give me something. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. 
<laughs> it's, I, you know, a non-upgraded prepared. Like, what are we talking about? It's not good against the cubes. It's not good against knob. I guess the, yeah, I don't know. I mean, upgrade prepared also. You want to upgrade the prepared? I don't know. I mean, is it the upgrade? Yeah, we could probably take a prepared and then upgrade it. Yeah. This is the freakiest, saddest, whatever, ever. Honestly, can we even do that or do we die if I do that? I mean, we have 20 life for two fights. I mean, we are probably not good. And I don't even know about the weak potion I just threw for average uh, expectation 6. Probably expectation of a weak potion is 8 or something. Yeah. Mm. So I guess this will save us some life. What are we looking at in the future? This, 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 we probably find a potion. So 20 plus 20 top door. I am not sure. I would think we are fine. Yeah. Why? Well, I guess because um, because we have the freaking strike dummy and uh, odd mushroom is against vulnerable. I don't know. We have zero potions. Yeah, sure. I guess that happens. Could have used weakness potion here. To be open here. I don't know. It's 30, 42, 45. And really in trouble against Lagavulin. I don't know. Are we? 45. And you're saying it's better than to open 15, 24, 30. No. Next time we open 4, 15, 24, 30, 36. And that is not better. 36. And currently we open for 30, 40 to 45. Hmm. Okay. No. I mean, we waste the weakness. You're saying it's hard to ask for a better opener. Hmm. No, really. Wow. Okay. Um. Hmm. Hmm. That was pretty bad. Um. Okay, I have you garbage not picked for no reason. Hello. Hey. Okay. Um. I mean, this can give us neutralize. I lost a little bit on this weakness potion. I don't know. I lost a little bit of on leverage on this weakness potion. I don't know whether we don't want to weaken him next turn, by the way. I was not so certain about this, but yeah, probably okay. Um, uh, okay. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, I'm playing like garbage. I think I also no. I, I'm 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 really I don't know. Yeah, it's uh, I'm uh, no no. It's not. It's it's no no. It's fine. It's fine. I'm 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 really misplaying. Uh, the weak potion is also not justified on this flavor. I just don't have fun playing this game any longer. I don't know. It's just like what it is. I guess. I mean, it's uh, I don't know. It's um, it's fine. Wow. Well, it's just. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, I really tried, I think, no, yeah, too much time, I don't know, no, I'm, I'm, uh, we could have, I could have used it not against the slaver, but, honestly, I also don't, no, it's not about too much silent runs, I just don't see a goal currently, which motivates me, straight up and simple. I was thinking maybe I might be motivated if I uh, fill the 100 silent runs and stuff like this. But honestly, 
I just don't think I get like um, enough motivation for myself. I just don't see there's no reward, you know. Like I have 60% whatever, I have 70% whatever, I have 50% whatever. It's really like whatever. Like I'm, uh, it's really like whatever. Like who cares, you know. It's like, okay, I perfectionize something else. I don't know. It's like, um, yeah, whatever. Yeah. It's, uh, ah. yeah. There are so many hours. I think I'm also a little bit tilted because it's just like the time investment. There's so much time investment and I'm not exactly sure whether it's even worth to go for it. Yeah. If, if the reward is not in itself by playing the game, it cannot be worth it, right? I mean, either like you cannot... Either the game itself is motivating enough or it's not, and I, I don't know, yeah, it's, it's just nonsense. And um, if the games were satisfying, it uh, would be a different story, but currently this is just like, wow. I mean, there's some stressful, you know, like it oscillates between up and down and up and down. And uh, I just have the feeling that currently the, the downs are just overwhelming me. Like this is just the biggest garbage. And yes, I probably wasted on the Red Slaver, maybe five life, maybe not, and yeah. Cool. Yeah, okay. Also, good, 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 guys. Good, good, good. Um, but yeah, thanks very much for watching. And uh, yeah, um, I hope you over to somebody else. And, yeah. Mm. Amas is streaming. <laughs> I will host you over to Amas. <laughs> okay. Oh, super JJ. Watch, watch some battlegrounds, guys. Uh.